Wow. Hello everybody. Welcome uh, welcome to this uh, program. I call it uh if you don't mind, you know, uh it's been a hell of a day. It's not really easy, you know. You know. Sometimes uh when I hear Una Dekano say that he's he's so ashamed to be called an Africa, you know. I think he's very right when he said that he's so ashamed to be an Africa. I will give my reason very soon. When Unande Kano said that Africa, they are wicked and they are very stupid. I think he's very right because we prove that time after time. You know, when we have somebody like Unande Kano that have, you know, given us the goals, you know, to push for our, our, our right, to, to, to ask for our right, but still yet we have saboteur everywhere. We have some stupid people, some ewi kaba, some, some, some non-entity of people who they don't have any idea to give to people. All they can do is go on social media and begin to rant. All they can do is just come to social media, begin to condemn, and they cannot say this, and they cannot say that, and they cannot say this, and they cannot say that. Oh, now you have finished condemning, and they cannot. So what are your suggestions? They don't have any. They don't have any. As I'm talking to you right now, there is a guy broadcasting live as we are speaking. He's just there blasting and blasting and blasting. Una de Cano and his decision and IPOB in particular, generally. You know, you condemn this, this brave man with his wise and the best ideas that have ever, that have given to us. But you don't even have anything to say that, okay, since... You think what he's doing is not good, so this is the next way we should be we should go. They don't have any idea. So I'm so ashamed that I'm with a generation of African people that 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 that, that they, they don't even see ahead of this future what become of us in the next future. They don't people people who, who are only very comfortable because they are in Germany. Because they are earning some little money. People who are just comfortable because they are in London, they are earning some money. They don't care about what become the future of the other people who are left at home in the zoo. They don't care. I hear one stupid one was saying, I don't want to be calling neighbor because I don't want to offend people that much. But I heard one stupid one was talking shit that, uh, you know, I don't want anybody to be killing anybody. Uh, I don't want any uh, Biafran brother to be, life to be lost. So are they not be killing us day by day? Have they not been killing us? We are too weak in. We are too weak in. The way that we are being brought up as Christians, we, 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 we are too weak. We are too weak. That is why the, just imagine full and they are the one threatening us. Full and are the one threatening us. They have threatening us to the, to the extent that now we, we are even quarreling with each other that's here. And I, I, I don't want to, I don't want them to kill us. So. Just imagine the kind of people that you have become. And you are not ashamed. Just ask yourself. And you're not ashamed to be in this set, uh, 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 class category of, of human beings that are afraid of full enhancement. You say that you say that you have you are an Igbo man, you, you have your degrees, you have your PhD, you have this, you have it, you have your masters, you say you are from so-called sat you have this, you are a professor, you say you are professor Wolin uh, Shoyinka and uh, which, which this stupid one, the native doctor uh, uh, Banjo, that's called himself a pastor. With all these degrees and all the things they think they have, they have been unable to, to make sure that they secure the citizen, the life of Yoruba people, the life of Igbo people, the life of the people in the South South. That is why our leader, Mazun and Dekano, say, no, 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 no. Enough is enough. This, this marriage of Nigeria and this zoo system cannot work. It cannot work. It cannot work. You are afraid of common uh, full and men. In fact, we should be abolishing this 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 language of calling them evil common. You call some people common, they are the one controlling you. Are you are you are you okay? People who are controlling you, who are bombarding you, who are killing you, raping you, and you cannot do nothing about it. You say these are the people that you say it's just common and a bookie. You that you are, that you are very wild and very sensitive. What what have you what have you achieved with your with your wisdom and you know intellectual, Mister Graduate? Now we have another canon. He, he came, you know, you know, you know to, to, to take us away from the darkness. He did pay me. He did pay me. All we owe him is support. Support. Support and obedience. Respect to every other. And we get some week about the fool every year. They are hopeless as nothing. 
as the rats, church rats. They are very hopeless human beings. They don't have any suggestion. They don't have any idea. They don't have any direction to give to the masses. All they could do is condemn their own brother. What a shame. What a big shame. What a big shame. What a big shame. I was listening to a brother right away now. He's, talking, he's saying that uh, any day that the evil people, they come together in one accord and they are saying that uh, uh, we, 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 should, we, should, we, we want Biafra, Biafra will come. Any day that the so-called Sasa people, they come together, they say that, oh, we want Biafra, Biafra will come. Any day that uh, the whole uh, Yoruba, they come together uh, with that, blah, blah, blah. How can they come together when the Oba Obini is there He's, he's eating money. The, the government give him money. He's living very huge and the people are suffering. How can he come together with the people? Can't you see that it's violence that can take, that, 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 that can break us from this uh, uh, yoke of uh, 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 demons and devils that we found ourselves in their hands? When the whole traditional rulers, I say the whole traditional ruler, except, except the father of our supreme leader, Mazuna Dekano, they don't care about us. Forget all these traditional leaders with their caps and their, uh, 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 and their disgusting look. They don't care about anybody. If you don't like it, okay. But I've just said my mind. Because you must know your function as a person, a king, a ruler, or a leader. You cannot be ruling over people, bombarding them up and down. You don't even care if, if, if the system of the governor fit their situation or not. You know, and you say you are a ruler. You know? This guy that was even talking is even from Edo State. What is the function of Oba or Bini in Edo State? And what can we write home about, about his leadership? Is it, is, do you think that it's all about worshipping the Oba or Bini? Oba or Bini, Oba or Bini, he said. It's not about worshipping the Oba or Bini, Oba or Bini. What has he really done for the people? He have, okay, the other day he swear for people in Italy that they should stop uh, prostitution. Okay, good. We give him kudos for that 100%. But he for, he forget the, 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 the reason why these people are prostitutes. He forget the reason why Edo gets a, a international prostitute all over the whole world. They are causing uh, havoc and disgrace to the, the rest of African race. He forget the reason that it's because of the bad government in the zoo. The bad government that he cannot use his power as the upper, the number one citizen in that in that state, you know, to, 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 to turn lives around. He is afraid of what he's afraid of the government. And he don't deserve to be worshipped just like the Benin people they are worshipping him. He don't deserve any worship of any or, 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 or those uh, he, he did not deserve anything to be deserve any worship. And people will be worship. Is it worship that is all about the future of our generation? Worshipping Oba of uh, Bini, Oba Tokbeo, and he's not doing anything. He has not said anything about the bad government. He has not said anything about the killings in the in the middle bed, in, in the in the Sada Kaduna, in, in the Meduguri, the one in, in the Operation Python Dance. All the killing that have been taking place, all the killing that take place in Benue, has he said anything as a traditional ruler? So what is he doing in that seat? What is he doing in that seat? I don't care if there's any Edo person that is here. A dope person that is here, you should, you, you, if you are not waking up, you can go to hell and die. It doesn't concern me. You should, it's time we should be asking people who are ruling us, where are you leading us to? Where are you ruling us to? Where are we going as a people? We are suffering, we are dying of disease, starvation, hungry, and killings by bullet, by gun, by accident, because the roads are not tied. The roads are bad. Is it, when, when, is it, do you think that it's just all about maybe you are a king and you have a Rolls Royce, you are driving... And you are living very comfortable. You have a plant in the night where there is no light. You own it, and you are you say, "Oh, boy, I took baby. Oh, boy, I took baby." Is that is that? The, if we continue this lifestyle, Africa is doomed. It's doomed for destruction. I'm not among these people that will be saying that uh, this one. Uh, 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 I'm, I don't worship anybody, and I don't tolerate nonsense. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm speaking this true. The gods and the ancestors of Biafra land they will protect and guide me. Whoa, what an arrant nonsense. When I say, when I'm, when I'm lashing over, I'm lashing all the old kings. To the Oni of Ife, the Olu of Wario, the Obi of Yonisha, all of them all. All the traditional real boats in Calabar, River State, all of, Nobody is serving the people. Nobody is serving the people. Nobody is there for the interest of the people. Nobody. Have you seen any traditional ruler that have come to say that listing in the constitution of Nigeria... 
to, to agitate is there. It is our right to agitate, to belong to the zoo or not. Has, at least they are the people that will come that, see, Buhari, what you are doing is not good. You have to allow the young man to continue what he's doing. After all, he's not killing anybody. He's a peaceful protestant. None of them will come. So what are they serving? What is their purpose in office? They keep quiet over the killings because they know that they are getting money from government. And we are the sacrificial lambs. People should wise up. People should wise up. All do you think is all about coming to Europe here? And the end of the lazy set of people from Africa, lazy set of people trying to get free money every year, going to places that they, they have already built. They, they they run from Nigeria. They say they love Nigeria. They run they they, they, they run, run to the Western world, seeking seeking for free money, seeking for help, disgracing and, and you know diminishing our pride. Uneducated thoughts every year. People that people that are supposed not to be even in Europe because the the, 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 the the level of you know the, the level of their, their, their behavior is, is is beyond control. You know, all in the name of we came from the zoo, one Nigeria garbage, one Nigerian nonsense. Oh hey Biafra. One Nigerian nonsense. And when I say that the all the whole kings in the whole stupid, I say stupid, all the whole stupid traditional ruler in Nigeria, they, 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 their, their children will pay in the next generation. Because it will never continue like this. There will be a change of hand. Their children will suffer it. Their children will suffer and suffer. Their children, their children, their children will, they, they, they will reap the sins of their father who were in position but they never spoke about the evil that is going on in the land. They will bring money for development of community in different little, little, little community. The kings, all the kings, they will chop the money and the, and, and the chiefs. They will eat the money. They will eat the money. They will eat the money. They will share it among themselves. They, they buy cars, they buy land, they build us. They, they, they would not have light. Just, okay, just imagine all this be big or bad or this or bad that. King this, Olu of here, Olu or, 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 or be of furniture, or be of that, or be of that. They know we don't have light in that zoo. But what have they done about it? Has anybody spoken? Has anybody spoken? Nobody will speak. Nobody will speak. Because they are all evil. They are all evil. From your politician to your pastors to your traditional rulers, they are all evil. They are all evil. To your governors, local government chairman, they are all evil. The few ones who are not evil in their midst, they are afraid to talk. They are afraid to talk. They are very afraid to talk. They are afraid to talk. And when people like us, we come on and be saying something, some foolish, stupid nonentity or people who, who opportunity to find yourself in the Europe. They just come in and they say, fuck you. When you have not fuck your king, your king, your king that have been selling your bed right decades upon decades. You have not said fuck you to your king. You are telling me, I, re I return it to your king in your village. Your king is the fuck you. I don't know. I don't know the kind of people we are bringing up this day to to lead us into the into the next future. Weak people, weak-minded people, jealous, weak-minded people, envy, hating, weak-minded people. This is what we have all over the whole places. This is what we have all, all over the whole places. Oh, it's not all about uh, if you are a gay coming to Europe and be doing prostitution. That's the destiny you want us to believe in. And we say, oh, bye, tobe, hey, you say. Do you know how long? Edo people have been doing prostitution in the Europe, and we are still doing all by Edo. He said, "Meanwhile, the resources that is from that Edo city can cater for every Edo citizen. It, it is enough to cater for every Edo citizen. Edo, Edo state produce oil too. I know their percent is very low, but the oil that is the the, the natural resources in that com, in that state can cater for everybody without traveling. And now they have international prostitutes every year. They are shameless. They don't they don't even have shame." They don't have shame. They don't have manners. They don't have manners. Because somebody have to do it. Because if the, the, the time of, you know, ignoring people have come and passed, we'll not be taking these people anymore because they have our color and they represent us anywhere they go. If you like, you speak it, though, you don't speak it, though. They, they, as far as they have your color, you're in Africa, it doesn't care. If they, if they, if they, if they patrol any evil, any part of the world, they will say it's black people. If black people are immigrant. Black people are suffering. Black people are this, black people are that. That is why I was supporting the Madonna and kind of say, look at the mirror, you will see that you are looking at a babu. You look like a babu because you think like a babu. You just think like one. 
You think like one, if you are a citizen of Edo State, or you are a citizen of Wari, or you are a citizen of uh, Onisha, a citizen of anywhere, and you cannot question your king, then you must, you need a brain surgery. Because your king, as far as I'm concerned, they are not serving the purpose why they are in those positions. There is no lie in the zoo, the king, they don't talk, nobody talks. Nobody talks. There is no lie for decades upon decades. From my age one to as I am right now, the zoo don't have light. They don't have light and nobody is talking. And you will be saying, Oba, I told you, you'll be saying uh, uh, Igwe, you'll be saying Ovie. No, I don't do those shit. The traditional rural, they must be playing their purposes. Unless they are afraid of Bwari, they are afraid of the past government, they are afraid of their governors. They are afraid of them. Because if people are suffering in a particular place and the king is there, he is supposed to speak for his people. We cannot be having all these mineral resources, these riches and wet all over the old place and we'll be suffering and our kings and our traditional rural, they will be, they will be in their mansion driving roads, right? It's not done anywhere. I've said the time with that number, the gods in Biafra land will protect me from every evil eye. Because I know the ancestors of, of, of Biafra land, the ancestors in Africa, they are ashamed of the traditional ruler from A to Z. All. They are ashamed of the like, look at the people who are representing me. My people are going to prostitution internationally. No, they, they, they don't say anything about it because my people are suffering. My people are not criminal. My people are not, they talk of, they, they are like mockery to the other race. They don't say anything. Why are they mockery? Why are they prostitutes? Why are they criminals? It's because the government that, are, that is governing the people, that is representing the people, refuse to act or say anything because they are getting some peanut from the government. And you say that as you respect such a king, a king that I've never spoken, now tell me, can you measure any one king? Can you measure any one king in the whole of the zoo from, uh, from, uh, from, from, from Yoruba land? To Edo, Edo City, to, to Wari, to uh, uh, Bayasa, to, to Kalaba, to, to this whole of the Igbo that has spoken about the killings in Benue, the killings in Plateau, the kill, killing in the Middle Bed, the killing in the in, in the Southern Kaduna, in the in, in the killing in the in the Eastern region, and the killing the the, the, the evil atrocity of the fallen Hespe. Has anyone spoken? And if they have not spoken, do you owe them a worship? Do you owe them a respect? No, I say fuck them all. Anybody that have a problem with that, go to hell. People are even saying fuck you, Jesus. Talk like of a, a, a king. Who is that king? He don't bath. People they even they insult Jesus self na, na, na king. Na king. See, let me tell you. When we say we worship on the canon, if you don't like it, you can go to hell. Do you know why? Let me explain it. Don't be too uh, quick in your judgment. Unless you don't know the meaning of worship. For example. You are in the zoo or any place or even in Europe. I bring you to Europe. I put you in an apartment. Maybe I, I have uh, so much money, you know. Mm. I rent. Sorry, my people, for the, for the break in transmission. Sorry, my people, for the break in transmission. Like as I was saying, for example, you are in the zoo or you are in any place in the Europe and I am the one who is, uh, I'm the one who is making, making sure that you are being catered for in every aspect. I'm training you in the university. In the university. You will worship me. It's just a sign of appreciation for the good things. That is worship. Go and check your dictionary. People who go to school but they don't know they, 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 they graduated uh, uh, illiterates. Graduated illiterates. Unless you don't know the meaning of worship. So if somebody is worshiping man the canon and you find a fault in that thing, leave that one. That is just a minor case. Techno said that Abe Moku forget about the big things, so Moku talk about the small thing. Can we just start with the issue of we? In living in the zoo, not having electricity. These are the issues that even concern you and me. Forget somebody worshipping Una de Kano. Forget somebody worshipping Una de Kano. It's just a common sense. We have not talked about our kings and our Oba, our Ovie, our, our Igwe, our Obi that have not been serving their purpose while they are in the office. We have not talked about it. If somebody that is worshipping somebody that it does, it does, does not even concern you, is that your business? Is that your business? As I tell you, so if you give me like ten thousand dollar or ten thousand euro, I go even watch it you. If not watch it you, they fine. It's just a sign of appreciation. That is watch it. Sign of appreciation. If you are a Christian back in the day, because anyway, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm I, 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 I've, I've renounced all those things, you know. 
So it's just that sometimes I don't want to, you know, try to a kind of a, 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 a offend my Biafran brother. If not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a full time Awoku person, and I'm not, I'm not scared of saying it. You know, when you, when, when 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 they go to church and be saying, oh, "Thank you, this one, thank you, Jesus, thank you, that one, worship you, worship." Why are they worshiping the devil? Say because he saved their life. Because he did, he did that. What is the difference with, with with this two example I've just given? Somebody who is catering for you. Una, they cannot have come to let us know that yes, we are suffering. Our 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 sisters are prostitutes every year. Our 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 brothers and sisters they they, they are into all manner of evil, committing evil. Are the black race designed to be committing evil every year? Are we not ashamed of ourselves? The other day in uh, Istanbul, they caught one. They call uh, Otu, Otumba. It's from Yoruba with the name I can see. You know, duping a uh, one point four million dollar from a company. You, you know, busting into the internet. You know, are we are we not to be patronizing evil all over the old places? Near in Germany, you want to enter, you are in the queue, you want to buy something for the supermarket, you are finished buying, and, and you want to pay. A guy standing in front of you, you will be looking back as if you want to snatch her back. They don't even have anything in their bag, maybe probably 2 euro or maybe 20 euro. Do I look like a criminal? It's because our face have been designed to be criminals, African people. Because our leaders, they will not use their, the, 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 the natural resources that our ancestors have given to us to, you know, you know, you know, to, to put our life in better position. That's why we are suffering every year. And when people come, when people like come and they can say, it's enough, it's enough. People will come out with their rotting and dirty mouth and be talking rubbish. You that is talking rubbish, that you have not done anything. What are your own suggestions? Maybe we will follow you. Give us a suggestion because we are tired of being like weak Christians. Because Christians, they are designed to be weak people. Because they are the people that will be praying and praying and praying for decades until they die. Now we are taking the kingdom of God by violence. Because you don't read your Bibles. We are taking it by violence. Because we are tired of praying. Our children are dying. We are, we are dying of many things. Disease and the rest in Africa. Our guests at the age of 13, 14, they are into prostitutes. People are supposed to be in the school early morning. You will see children of 10 years. They are hawking pure and tomatoes and banana in the street. And when we say we, need, we, we want to divine Nigeria, some people say, eh, one, what, what, what have one Nigeria benefited you? You should be wise. Think well. What have, what have you gained? You ran from your country because Nigeria is bad. And you see saying that you, it's one Nigeria. You must be a fool. One Nigeria what? Full and men are killing people in your community. They are killing people in your state. You know. You are still saying you want Nigeria. Why? What is the reason why you want one Nigeria? You don't even know. Stupidity. Stupid. Self-stupidity. Self-stupidity. What, what are the reasons why you want one Nigeria? You don't know it. Is it the good government? No. Do we have electricity? No. Do we have education? No. Do we have job? No. Do we have a hospital? No. Do we have road? No. What do we have? Nothing. What do you want? One Nigeria. What are you? A fool. A big one. A very matured one. A cow. That's what you are. Because I see many people now, right now, they are doing so much shit. They are blasting on the canoe. Why can't you just leave on the canoe? Save your energy and give us the, the, the way forward. We will follow you. Give us the way forward. Give us the way forward. We will, we will follow you. They don't have any idea. I'm sick and tired of people who will come to, you know, you know, to try to make sure that they, 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 they bring people down in every aspect of their life. But what is your own suggestion? They don't have. What is this kind of people? A fool, a fool. You don't have any ideas. You don't have any suggestion to give out. You don't have any suggestion to give to the people. But you are condemning somebody that already have one. One of the cannot have millions of followers. Millions. Millions of followers. This is the person you are condemning. What is your own suggestion? We may follow you. Oh, you don't have. You don't have. People are just there. They are, they are, they are making video, uh, uh, you know, condemning the guy. See, this energy. Let us take the religious aspect out, out of it. This energy. Why can't you bring in? Let us form it together and make our life a better place. You can just come to see me and talk and talk. You don't have a suggestion. Maybe probably me too. I don't have a suggestion. Or I have. I don't have the ability to execute it. Una, they cannot have one. And he's executing it. And we are following him. So what is your fucking problem? You are scared of common fool and he me. You call fool and he me. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody know. We all. We are not, uh, we are, I'm not here to, uh, to, 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 to sweet anybody. We all know that we, the, the Igbo-speaking Biafra, the, the coastal region, the so-called Nigeria, Biafrans, 
and even the other one we call Hausa uh, Aboki. This one I come Aboki now. Mm, I believe this one. This one not be Fulani. Fulani is ruling you. He's commanding you. He's killing you. He's raping you. He's conditioning you. He's even stealing your words. And you cannot do anything about it. You are still calling the common people. It's time you think about what they represent and how to, you know, to get out from their cage. As far as I'm concerned, we are still in their cage. We are still in their cage. What the hell am I doing in the West Africa at the first place? If not because of the stupid Zuko Nigeria that that, that 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 happened that somebody so, somehow somehow the zoo the the, the, the Babu Kingdom the the, the 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 territory of the the the, 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 the demon entity people will just be talking nonsense. I will I will urge every Biafran person please stop listening to people who will discourage you. It is not good for us. We are too weak in minded. These are weaklings, weakly making video, talking all manner of bullshit, talking the... Do you have a suggestion? No. These are weakling people. We don't need weakling people. You, you don't want to fight now. You are scared of death. Meanwhile, the death is in your front. You will soon meet it again if you don't fight now. If you don't fight now, you will meet the death later. The death that you are scared of. You are scared of dying. But you will meet it. You will meet this dead that you are scared of, that dead, they are going to kill you, they are going to kill you. You will still meet it because, as far as I'm concerned, the Fulani Hesmen are the only people who are planning to take over the whole Nigeria. We don't have a plan. All the people know how to do is jaye, jaye, party, 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 finish. They can't protect their own. They can't protect their own. And back in the okay, I've done with you, all the what the, the, sad, the so called sad, sad people, the Nigerians, they know how to do is. Blah blah blah. We have oh yeah, we have oh yeah. But they are living very poor, stupid people. That is where I'm from. One now they cannot say is he, he is so ashamed to be to, to, to be called an Africa. Was he excluded? He's an African. That is how leader they talk. He's so ashamed to be an Africa. And today I'm saying I'm so ashamed to be one because you know why? We are in a generation where somebody will bring a very great idea. We will have stupid. Empty drum who say they are graduated, but they are graduated illiterate. Say all manner of shit. Trying to discourage people. It's trying to discourage people. I, I overheard uh, the wounded civilian. He was saying that uh, if the so called sat, sat and the sat come together in one accord, uh, the BFI will come. Uh, they will come. But the Oba Obini is there squandering money that is getting from the government. Will he agree? And you that is saying that he they come to one accord, you are the one you still worshipping this Oba. You are still respecting him. The Oba that have never spoken that you don't have life since you were born. And you are now like kind of 38 to 40, 40 years. Till now you don't have light. Oba have not spoken. You are still worshipping the Oba. They are killing people in your, in your farmland in Edo State. Your Oba have not spoken. You are still worshipping the Oba. You don't have electricity. You don't have road. You don't have water. You don't have... Nothing is working. You know. You are still worshipping the Oba. What is the purpose of Oba? What is his position? What is his position? If it's not serving the position, then it's not worth it to be honor. It's not worth it to be worship. It's not worth it to be praise. You must serve for a purpose before you get praises. If you don't want any purpose, you then you get the fuck out. As far as I'm concerned, I've said it and I'll repeat it again. All the whole traditional ruler in the zoo called Nigeria, from Yoruba land to the southeast to the southwest, I will be able to permit me to use this language to, 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 to pass my message to those, those people who are from the south, south, and the rest. They are all failures. They are all bunch of garbage. All the traditional rulers. All the traditional rulers, the, 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 the ancestors of Biafra land, they will, they, they will save me from, from, from their cackles. They can't do nothing. My spirit is stronger than them. Wicked, evil, old fools. They, 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 can, be, they can be so easily to, you know, to condemn somebody that say evil against a king. But they cannot condemn the, the evil government that is sending their young guests to prostitution. That is sending their young boys into... They, they have turned us to immigrant asylum seeker all over the all over the, the globe. And you say I should respect them. May God punish all of them. How can I respect them? They don't deserve my respect. Let me bring somebody in. Somebody want to come in. Of course, I will always oh listen, my brother. I have not seen you. Stupid people. I'm bring you right now. Stupid set of people, they are not serving me, and I can't respect them. That is my own way of life, and my spirit is stronger than them. They have hijacked this power for a long time and they're not using it for all. They sorry, have destroyed sorry, us. Sorry. And I can't, I, 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 I can't respect them. If you say I should respect them, my brother, and I mean, you want me to sin against myself, I can't sin against myself. Continue, brother. Welcome, uh, brother Lise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're yeah, welcome, brother. You are doing a good job. 
Thank you, brother. I commend you. You know, Costa Biafra land, your name will be written in gold. Thank you, brother. Like yes, sir. Our deputy would say, we must keep on keeping on. Yes, sir. We must not deviate from saying the truth. Yes, sir. This great foundation, this movement, IBOB, is built on the on the foundation of truth. And it's propelled by Almighty God Himself. Yes, sir. Guardian. Yes, sir. We, the people of Biafra from Coastal Region. Coastal Region, you are right. From the coastal region of Biafra land. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Olise Donad, and I am from Ndokwa Nation. Ndokwa Nation is in Anyoma Igbo region of Biafra land. The, today, with, within the zoo, divide and rule, uh, political gerrymandering, they've divided us into what IBB called Delta States, where me and this, my brother, <laughs> They divided two of us into where they call Delta States. He is from the Isoko Nation. He is from the Wari province of Biafra land. So we represent the people, our people in this struggle. And we know what we are saying when we come online to tell people that look, because of those people who are paid by the government of Nigeria, they make publications in, our, in, the, in the Yoruba Gota medias, trying to call us names that we don't even understand, names like South South, names like Ninja Data. And they make publications to say the Ninja Data people or the South South people are not Biafrans. They reject Biafra or they are not Igbos. My brother, those are the seeds from the pit of hell. And we are here to let them know that that is a lie. Having said that, let me quickly react to the topic, as you said today. Those people criticizing Nadekano, in fact, their criticism is propelling us, just like our leader will say. He's our supreme leader. Whoever is angry should go and die. Should go and do whatever thing he likes, because we don't care. We, he, he will tell you, in Nadekano will introduce himself as the servant of Biafrans. But we Biafrans, who are his followers, we call him our supreme leader. We don't care. People are getting articulated, are they not? Some are obituary and all that. Obituary. Some are Obituary. getting articulated. Some are uh, 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 Sai Baba. Whatever they like, they can Sai be. Sai Baba, yeah, yeah, people. Whatever they like, they can be. We, in the, we the indigenous people of Biafra, we, the people of Biafra, we have rejected even being called Nigerians. Because it's a shame that anybody will come up and call us Nigeria. It's a big shame. A very big one. Nigeria, Nigeria has been the chief underdeveloper of our place. Nigeria is a confusion. Nigeria is a concocted republic. And like our, our, our Supreme Leader Mazen and the Kano will say, it is a zoo. A satanic okay. entity. And so when we begin to talk about these political leaders, these political office holders, because that is what they, they are, political office holders who are serving Nigeria, who are fraudulently using the name of our people, the people of the coastal region of Biafra land, those they are fraudulently called Ninja Delta, those they are fraudulently called South South in the, in the geopolitical zones as created by the Aosa Fulani in Nigeria. Because all the geopolitical zones in Nigeria are created by Aosa Fulani. After the British created and left, every other creation you see is done by Aosa Fulani. And so all these things they created and called geopolitical zone and others is for their interests. We have rejected them. That is why when we introduce ourselves, we talk who we are and where we are from. We don't say we are we are from Delta State. We only say it so that those people would, would, would not know because since they were born, they have been told that they are Delta people. So you sometimes we don't blame them. They have been told since they, we were told since we were born that we are Nigerians. They even hide the, the history, so many history from us. 
it is it is because of the knowledge because it is ordained that we must know these things because we must have this knowledge and the knowledge will set us free so so we start it, we look to see for it, we find it well, I'll be having some questions for you. Uh, maybe when you are done with your speaker, I'll be having some questions. You know, we need to deliberate on them. Yes. Yeah, so bring them, bring them on, bring them on. I'm with you. Bring them on. So like you know, what I'm saying, so I, I want you. To, I want you. I would like you to even address the, the address this this so-called traditional ruler that we have all over the whole places. Who are they serving? Who are they representing? Because people will be watching piece of people. Our people are genitalian. Run, run an egalitarian society, a republican society without monarchs before the British came. We know those communities, let me use that word, that have a relative monarch system. Very few, very microscopic few communities within the Biafra land that practiced monarchy. Monica. And this monarchy, there is, there are some, there, there is, an, there, there is already an established history of how these monarchies came up. So, if we begin to talk about traditional rulers in Biafra land, then, then we are indirectly talking about the warrant chiefs that were created by the British to assist them in indirect rule, or we are talking about those who are giving staff of office by the Nigerian state. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, of course, I'm listening to you and the audience are there too. Yeah. These persons, these persons who take staff of office from the Nigerian states, declare the state paramount ruler, probably because of influence of um, wealth and money. You see, it has always been a source of community crisis within Biafra land. Major community crisis that has, that, has, that has recorded a lot of loss of life. I see that because of kingship Tozo, who will get staff of office from the Nigerian state, who will not be given, and at the end of the day, it will be politicalized. So, what I'm trying to say is the kingship, uh, should I say, monarchs in Biafra lands are political tools for Nigerian government. They are, they are just helping Nigerian government to administer their colonial rule on our people. So that is why you see that many of them have lost their voice. Many of them cannot even boldly contribute to issues that are considered to be national issues because they actually are working for the state. I don't know if you, I don't know if I answer your of question. Course, of, of course, so of is, course. This is, this, is, this is fact. If they say they are working for the people, what have they done over issues? Let us start from the issue of Fulani Esmen. Nnamdi Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, told you, told the world, the effect and the time we started uh, uh, the issue of. Uh, removing all Fulani Esmes in Biafra land as all the activities of killings, and since then it has stopped and reduced to the barest minimum. Before Nandikan made that statement, what has been the statement of these traditional rulers over the killing of people by Fulani Esmen? For many years. For many if years. You ask them, if you ask them, typical of them and those that have been published on the news, they will always say that the issue of Fulani Esmen killing their France is a national issue. That has always been their answer. When you ask them what is a national issue, they will tell you that the federal government is on it. And now, what was the federal government's policy on the issue of killing of their France by Fulani Esmen? They said we should go and give our land to them, that we should give them cattle colony. Who is the federal government? The federal government of Nigeria is controlled by Hausa Fulani. Who are, the, who are the killers? Fulani Hessmen, Hausa Fulanis. And now, what is the answer they gave when we questioned on the killing of our people, the raping of our women, and the destruction of our farms? The answer they gave is that we should give them a colony in our land, a parcel of our land 
for them to have weak a colony. People, weak people, weak generation. And when we go to these traditional rulers and say, traditional ruler, what did you bring from Abuja? And they say, hey, they said they want to come and build cattle colony. The same people that are clean us, you want us to give them a parcel of land, uh, should I say acres of lands for them to graze their cow and build their empire there. And the next day, what is happening in Plateau, what is happening in Middle Bed will begin to happen in Biafra land. We can't take that. This generation of Biafrans will not take that. We are not going to take all this nonsense. We will not, we will not take that. So the, what, if, you, what? If, you look, if you look at the news on what Okowa made, Okowa, the governor of Delta State, made about Fulani S men, he went to a town hall meeting and told the world and told the, town, the people of Delta State that the issue of Fulani S men is a national issue and that uh, the, uh, the cattle colony should be looked into. There were motions for, for, the, for, for, for Fulani S men to be curtailed. But that motion died a natural death because of our Fulani interest in the testing. Did you, so did you listen about, to... They are now changing yeah. the word because people, people have understood what they mean by cattle colony. They now change it to say, uh, let the solution be ranching. That they should go and build ranch. Where are you building the ranch? The, the, the oil wells in our place, they build the oil well. The oil well is in our place, but they pipe it to the west and to the north. The cow, they own the cow. Now they want to bring the cow to our place to build ranch. Why not build the ranch in your place and leave us to, uh, to, to, build the, to build the refineries that the oil we have in our place? Why bring cow for us and take our oil to your place? But these traditional rulers, would they ask such questions? For crying out loud, we have, we have a refinery in Wari. We have one in, uh, I think, Port Harcourt. We have one in there. Uh, why you say we have? Why you say I know, we have I know. Working? They are not working. That's what we are wanted to learn. That's where I wanted to land. They are not working still. They, 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 the zoos export their oil, yeah, raw material to the west, and they, oh my God, what a weak and brain, brain, brain dead people, people who their brain are soaked in ice. This is why I describe this, this caliphate, these, these, these enemies, these, 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 these demons that we find ourselves in their hand as rulers. They are ruling us. For now, they are ruling us. If we don't fight, if we don't fight our way out, because I have been seeing so many stupid idiots, you know, talking blah blah on social media. You know, they don't have our any land, idea. Our land. They don't have any idea. Occupation. We are yeah. aware of that. That our land. Is under under are, I, from, see, and I will say it. I am so ashamed to be an Africa. It's not because I'm not proud to be an Africa, but because I am so fucking tired believing with people who don't think no, well, we must, people who we don't must, care about their brothers, strong, leaders. Brother. We must be strong, brother. A lot of people are looking onto us. Of course. Of, yeah, that is why we are commissioned for this struggle. A lot of people are looking onto us. So we must be strong. We must encourage them. When, when our leader tells you that the brain of a black man, uh, there is something wrong with the brain of a black man, I see reasons with him. Because, because so many years of colonial control, so many years of colonial mentality, you, you will not expect to take it out in a day. You can't expect to make it all this in one year. We've been we've been under colonial oppression for too long. It is it is it takes only the grace, the very grace of God, and uh, to, for you to have a very large IQ and for you to be courageous, for you to escape that kind of mentality. It is sold to our people. It has been sold to our fathers, our forefathers. This mentality is being is been is been implemented these days in terms of policies, even in international laws, are meant to colonize Africa. So, so we, we, we know these things, we know these things. And so we should be pushing, and so we should tell our people, make them see courage in us, let them see courage. And so that they, they, they themselves will become courageous to know that this battle must be won. This battle must okay. be won. If oh, not, okay. Africa, okay. Africa will remain, Africa will remain poor, Africa will remain in backwardness if we don't get Biafra. Uh, I don't know if I'm defeated for the point, but I would like to throw a kind of question. There is uh, somebody, okay, let me mention his name directly. There's this guy they call Wounded Civilian. He was saying that if the so-called, the, 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 the Eastern people come together, all of them, both the governor, the senator come together and they say they want Biafra. The whole side, the coastal region of Biafra, the south side come together in one accord and they say they want Biafra. And that is a kind of plus Edo state, you know. All the Western attitude, all come together. 
they will they, they, they will get what we want and the full and yes men they, they will not do anything about it you know he say it is only then then it is only then i'm coming with my question it is only then what have you that have said all the things you have done your mathematics you have done your physics and your theory everything you see that until then so what are your strategies you don't have a strategy but your traditional ruler who is ruling you and you worship him for the reason you worship him, I don't know. For the reason you praise him, you honor him, I don't know. Because he's not serving the people. He have never said anything positive about everybody in, in general. He have not done anything. And you think this person will still come together with you to fight the Fulanese? Why he's, he's scared of the Fulanese? He's scared of the government of the zoo? What do you have for this kind of people who will say that evil people who they respect and they know that they are not doing the right thing and you still respect those people? You say it openly even on social media and you expect him to do what he don't want to do. How can you how can you define this kind of people? You see, um, first, first, you see a lot of, I'm sorry to say this, a lot of people come online to gossip. But we in IBOB, we don't do that. We treat issue as the call. They pay me. They pay me well. Fact, that, is why, that is why we say IBOB says the political discourse in the zoo called Nigeria. We set the pace. So most people come online to gossip. Yes, I'm not I see, see you, them. brother. Most people you see many of them. Happy Africa. Africa. Or let's be Africa come. And, and Africa. one thing you notice, one thing you notice about them is yeah, 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 Nigeria one thing you notice about them is they just they just be there for they just get the popularity for a minute. At least that's what they want. And uh, the, when people realize that they have nothing to offer, they, they see abandon them to their stupidity. But the truth about it is this when he said if the politicians and all the Southwest and all the, according to the, what he knows about the zoo, geopolitical zone, so he's calling, he's calling the Juzu geopolitical zone, South East, Southwest, South South, and all the rubbish that is not in the, that is not in geography, you know? And that if they come together and say the word Biafra, uh, of course, that's what, that what Biafra stands for, the liberty of all, indigenous nations that has been locked up around africa in africa and and uh, especially in that zoo called nigeria and across exactly. africa as it is you know so so that is what we actually stand for so if if like he said if they realize come back to their senses and say ah ibob we are sorry we have now realized what we are doing has been, has been stupidity in fact, let everybody come and sit down and talk. That's what we are talking about. Let everybody come and sit down and talk. But not in the issue, I'm coming, but not in the okay. issue of uh, South South and the South West. No. Urobo is coming to talk as Urobo. Ijo is coming to talk as Ijo. Ndokwa is coming to talk as Ndokwa. Ndo Shumili is coming to talk as Ndo Shumili. Ika is coming to talk as Ika. Alaibo is coming to talk as Alaibo. Calabar is coming to talk as Calabar. Calabar is coming to talk as Calabar. Ikwere, Izo, they are all coming to talk as who they are. Not south, 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 west, south, east, north, east, not, no. Where is not, not, my brother? I they hear south, south every time, but I never hear not, not. I never hear west, west. So the question, the question again is that the what? They, call east. they must put south, east. The fear not the letter called East, too. They know if they say yeah. Eastern Nigeria. You don't hear them say, ah, Eastern Nigeria for anything. They go say Southeastern Nigeria. Southeastern Nigeria. Then he, when you go ask, they say, okay, well, why do why they call Southeastern Nigeria? So, because they know they will be to, we'll there together. South and the East now together. So they want to say South, yeah. South. I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will ask you this question again. I don't know if I'm asking the same question at the same time again, but I just want to ask again. Then him, knowing fully well that there is no possible that the Oba of Bini or the Olu of Wari, the Obi of Onisha, the Obi of Agbo, or the Igwes and the Ovie of the other kingdoms, yes, you know, yes, there's yes, no yes, way yes. they will support they will support the vision of Nigeria. He knows fully well, and he's coming to social media say that all three, they all come together. I so how can you describe such a person? Listen, those people don't even believe in Nigeria. Those people you are calling. Because you see these two, you see these two of, you see this, the, 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 these two of the Oba of Benin. I respect that monarch very well. I'm a child okay. of the Kumeku. I'm a, I'm a, I see, I'll be a child of the Kumeku ancestors. I'm, a, I'm this my lineage. I'm the child of Akashia there. You see that kingdom, that Bini kingdom, they are our neighbors. 
We are in Dokwa people. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming no, anyway. I'm, Sorry I'm, to cut you off. I want to you. I just want to let you know my stance. I just okay. want to give you. Most of these people don't know who them be. Okay. Now they you come again. Now what I want to reduce to toilets. Their kingdom, the great or the, the great Bini kingdom has been reduced to toilets by the Fulanese okay. and the. Now, now, now you come. Now you come. With the now what you have And they are there gossiping in the canon. Is that not stupidity? That's what I wanted to talk because 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 the 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 you Bini know, kingdom the the, the, are, in case they don't know who them be. I the the Edo kingdom have been reduced into nothing. That is not the I'm Edo not. in those years of our ancestors. Edo no, state, the kingdom be. is not a kind of political of the the, the, Edo, the structure the, of the, the Fulani Caliphate the president uh, government. The present generation don't know who them be. They don't if they know who them be, eh? If they know who they be, they go stand their ground. They don't know who they are. You okay. That will lead me. I don't know if this question is really necessary, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, I, I think I will jump that question. Uh, um, you can continue to talk if you have anything to talk about. If I see any, uh, uh, okay, you can you can you can continue with the issue of the boycotting of election and uh, you know uh, encouraging our people to never give up, stop listening to trash at the corner because uh, if they say that boycotting election will not work, it's not the proper way. So what are why, your ways forward? What are your ways? As no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. People who are saying, I'm trying to say that you should enlighten this aspect because people are saying that no, we should vote, we should vote. But these people that are saying we should vote that by cutting of election is not the way forward. What is the way forward? They don't have. Address the people. One thing you should know is IBOB is the people. That is one thing. The Nigerian media, the international corporate medias can write all they can to try to to try to cover up for for the for the for their for their puppets where they work for them as Nigerian government people for what we care. But they know say IBOB is on ground in the entire Biafra land. That plays the core south and the east of Nigeria. They know. And so they know when they begin to come online, you see most of these people where they, they articulated and most of these people will be saying and then they do all this kind, they do like say let us go and vote. They want the Say IBOB, like IBOB have a problem, we'll go and vote. They know say nobody won't vote for on ground because everybody in IBOB for the south and the Do you see what happened in the church? Do you see what happened in the church in the in Biafra land? I want to explain something so that yeah. our listeners will also know and okay. the world will hear it. They know that IBOB is on ground. The success of our sisters sit at home, expose them all the time. Sometimes they try to counter to try to see how they could feel, but it's evident for the world to see. So now, when they pay some of these their media, uh, some of these their media e rats, we call them, some of their media aides, you know, some of their media aides are on, on, the, on salary, some of them are automatic recharge on subscription for them to yeah. say what they are saying. Even in their heart, they, will not, they cannot even go and vote because of the tension on ground. PDP is promising death if APC declares himself, just like they did in the Kitty and also. APC is promising death. You know, so they, they, they say they know, but they are on payroll, they are hungry, mm -hmm. you know, and they are on payroll to go online and talk rubbish just to paint a picture to the world. They are like what Donald Trump call caravans mm -hmm. and fake news. They are the online caravans of, P, the, of PDP and APC. They are not representing the people. IBOB represent the people. IBOB is on ground. <laughs> IBOB is the people, the indigenous people of Biafra. So, when we begin to talk about election boycott, we only try to make our people understand. We just try to, you know, make uh, some explanation, further explanation, and why we need to boycott so that our people go understand. We know the what we know the other people they tell us say, hey, make we vote. What will be their reason why they want to make people vote? One, not they they vote. one, they know they vote for the camp for Nigeria. They know they, they know quite all right, say. I neck go to that Fabuja call resort at the end of the day. Yeah. Then no say he bad reach the extent. Say I neck comes to pulling units at the grassroots with fake resort sheets. So when you when you vote and sign those resort sheets at the pulling unit, you are signing a fake paper. Because the original copy is with the party in power and those people who are working for them in INEC. So when you sign there, believing that you have declared results in the unit, INEC in Abuja is 
have the constitutional right to declare the final say. So what they declare will be final say. They will not direct you to a court to go and take redress in the court. A court they know that they don't obey court orders in Nigeria. A court that the judge will sit down and tell you, my hands are tied. My brother, who tie your hand? When you they look and say there's no nothing, nothing holding in hand. And I am the judge. And now you, you are the, you are the oppressed person. You have come to him to give you justice. Judge for Nigeria I'm going to tell you, say, my hands are tied. Not be once, not be twice. They don't make that statement from the seat of justice. Judge in Nigeria go grant person pay. Dasuki gate is still in jail. A lot of people are in detention without trial. If you approach DSS, I be police, they go tell you, say, we are not with him. They go first deny. After like one year, two days, they go, yes, they don't rearrange this person for court. Oh. If you carry that paper, what they tell deny, go meet court. The same court will say, ah, this will be denied. Punish this court, go tell you, my hands are tied. You don't hear say they win any court of appeal case for after election. Because you keep they keep taking adjournment or they keep judging, and it is only the you one where they say, the Yes, it's only the one where we say, look at Oshem Mule, forget that to take home. Only the one where we say the people come be like say that we're mobilized into acting, requesting for what is right for them. They'll come okay, they'll come pass back, decide. Now they mobilize the people so that they know what they will back, go back, go decide. Because the people, the people just did, like say, they just they look like what if a lot of suffering and smiling. That mobilize, so they go even go mobilize them, they go still give them money. Oh. It is only in IBOB that people go in pro, go to protest. People are even short, and and they are not. They don't ask for money to go to protest. They don't. If they just hear say this thing where the government do they bad and it is bad, and you see and say they kill your brother as an IBOB member, you know, not the person go tell you. You go fall out. That is the spirit of that is courage that the IBO, people of Biafra have, has has always shown. This is the reason why they go talk, say, uh, Naigbo people get Biafra. No, no, no. It is because yeah, of yeah, courage. They are courage too much. You know, get everything you want to talk, you know, keep quiet. If you don't have what to say, just talk, talk. When they, when they bring their courage, talk up and say, court, condemning our generation because courageous. if you stand behind him, if you just shut up and stop condemning, you see somebody that is you know, courageous and saying the truth, doing the right thing, you should stand behind him. That is what is right. So IBOB now don't declare say no election in Biafra land. We are not voting. We are boycotting. There are a lot I will, of. I, a lot I, I, I have, I have a, I have a kind of a, let me say a question or a, what will you say to the 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 the, the, the coppers, the girls and boys who their fathers have, their parents have labored through at the year to send them to university, and they are the, going to be the one that is going to be at the the polling unit to to you know to organize the vote or something like that. They, they know. At the end of the day, so many of them are being killed. Of course, we know all this thing right from time. It's not, it's, it's not as if it's going to be happening. It has been happening before. Killing of coppers, people that have struggled to graduate you throughout know, the year and they want to serve, and they are killed in the process. Do you if you know have a sister, do? if you have a brother, what will you tell them? Do you know what they do? No. They, have sent, they have sent our brothers and sisters to the north as youth coppers. Because according to their, because it is only when it gets to the such thing because they know that our people are well read, our people go to school, so they will carry and go that place, go south, you know, and put them in, put their lives in danger, especially when it comes to election. A lot of them has been killed. Then they said, then no. As a youth copper today, where you they serve Nigeria, you know, say this election, you are putting your life in danger for nothing. I don't know what all of them know. Who, who go to say no, no? They like to insist. Please make this. Try to inform your people who are in the zoo. So if you are me, a youth copper, if you are a youth copper, it is it is in your best interest. Even Nigeria Army never protests. Nigeria police never protest. Did they did they listen to their protests? Then now you won't go risk your life. Say you won't go be pulling off. Make eye neck, eh? Open so be that say they won't create job for people. Make eye neck go employ whoever our all the hours of people where they where they carry nama. May they may they not go may they may they leave. S, S men activity, made a stop to the key people. May they go carry them to do that election. My brother, if you be youth copper, I'd advise you through this medium. No go. No go, because if you go, now you know what you go see. 
Eh, because I don't know what I will tell you. You they see death, you they walk out the enter. Do you, you ever hear say I neck? They say they want to invite international security, international uh, bodies to come provide security. Why, if to say go day peaceful, why I neck? They they want to invite international security athletes to say they want to consult international security athletes over the 19, 2019 election. Who don't protect anybody life for Nigeria before? For Nigeria, for that. Then who... why you won't risk your own? Is it worth it? If it's worth it, you can do it too. But is it worth it? You were there for pulling unit as uh, uh, what did they call them? Uh, youth copper. The result where you write for there is it valid? The one where they go call for Abuja nine, they go listen. That one where you write for there is rubbish. You don't even know whether not the original material they give you for my neck office. There has been situations where people will carry eye neck uh, material where they get result for pulling units. Go call the hotel. This paper where you bring that fake. I did a project that I was supposed to investigate. Uh, uh, I was supposed to study when I was in my, in my in my university in Nigeria. I did a project. I was supposed to study, uh, do a research in eye neck office. I was supposed to study the number of people registered voters. I was supposed to study the number of actual voters. I was supposed to study why they didn't vote because I was studying the political party. Why people are apolitical. Why people don't actually participate. Because in Nigeria, people don't participate in politics. Our people not, because they know it's nothing they come out. No, only those ones where they mobilize, give money, like 200 Naira, like 100 Naira, they call carry them go. Because they know say, their vote not they count. So they call use motor PDP for your come, carry motor come on our streets. We will know how they say they mobilize all these things. Of course, we have of been course, there. We, we have we have seen it. We are tired of it. That's why we are exposing it. Because it's not good. It's keeping us backward. It's killing us. It's destroying our uh, place. I, I think um I was still uh, sorry to cut your word. Uh, I'll just put it to you again. Uh, you know, so many people are saying articulation. We have we have said this in time ago, but I still want just also you refresh it again. Articulation and obituary, that is OB. I want you to give trauma like it to you why it is not in our favor. Making Peter OB a rich man, why being a slave as a vice president of the Fulani Caliphate, and why uh, uh, even voting, even trying to make him a device does not even make any meaning. It doesn't make anything because people are trying to it has, consider it has never some, been some in people our who are not strong enough. So why, the question is, it has never been in our favor. Why do you think it's going to be now? Okay. So those people talking say they are articulated, they are obituary, or they are buarist, or whatever. We have been all those things right from the creation of Nigeria. Where has it led us? Ask the person that question. If you look, tell us, look around. Do you have light? If you say no. Is there a road, motorable, motorable road? You say no. Where, you, are you schooled? Did you go to school? You ask the person. If you tell you, say yes. Job, you, pay your, you pay your school fees. You go ask them, oh, how you take your result? Did you pay money? You know, ask that they pay money. You pay all the money. If you tell you, say yes. You say, is this the kind of life you were thinking that you will live after you pay all those things? If you tell you, say no. At last, my brother, you, there is no need for all these things. Let us leave it. Nigeria is dead. If we don't, if we keep pretend, because everybody when they live for that, they live under pretense. Both the politicians, everybody they live under pretense, pretending to and be yeah, uh, weak if, people. This, if they if they if they hear that they toss it, this is our nation, you go to shame. This is our nation, Nigeria. You go to shame. My nation, I reject them. I reject them with everything in me. Then if you ask the person, if you ask the person, you go say uh, because of our rich colonial history, rich, listen, you no, know, rich colonial history. Are they not ashamed? Are they not ashamed? What is rich about your colonial history? What is rich about colonialism? No, that is what one is, they can't say is, that the what black is, man what is, is very the, stupid. What is the, what is the, what is don't the, think what well. The, the same person who called colonize you, now you tell you say colonize is no good. Though. I, I don't know if you understand though. Of course. During during slave trade, now then they buy the slave. Now then they come back and they say slavery no good. You did the mumu. People like Nana Shekiri that said, ah, ah. Now then reason small. They say, oh, ah. How can we they say oh yeah, they give you before you come? Before you come, you come again. You say no, you're not be oh yeah, again. You wanted to buy slave. You, you come back again, say you don't want to buy the slave again. But I say you carry something for money. If not, we don't want to do business with you again. Was well, not why they, they get Nana Shekri down. If not, were they not doing business? Was the colonial master not doing business with Nana Shekri, Nana Shekri before? Were they not doing business with the above Bini? Not because of all those 
question where those wise men of those time as not mind their children now where don't lose. They're going to cry for their grief. One minute. Let me address some hater because, see, I'm very angry. Do you know why? Our future are being sold. Because some people don't know that they have sold our future unless you take it back home. Some stupid people don't know that the, the caliphate of the, the leader of the zoo, they have, they have sold us out into, into slavery of prostitution, thieves, and criminals. Some idiot, I don't know where you are from. They are saying he's a Yoruba man, or maybe he's a Hausa, or maybe I don't care where you are from. You are from Igbo, or you are from, you are from Sasad. Shame on you. Shame on you, and let your generation be like Nigeria. Nonsense people. Where people are trying to come together and, and, and build the nation, you are there talking nonsense. Have you been eating from we the asshole? We are, we are or, building or have it you already. Come the for, 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 for we are building it already. Those, those, those who yeah, are yeah, staying yeah. behind, you know, you know, say, even for Nigeria, Mama. even for Nigeria, those politicians know. They know. Say the only thing where they need to do now to make policies. A lot of these mm. people, they they not they not get sense. They not they Evil follow up. People. You understand? So those people, those people, when they see they follow up, or what did they happen for IBOB? Now then be the mumu where those politicians they use their head. Those ones where they I B O B, then get sense. Now then with the politicians, they drag those mumu now. Now the situation it be now. So you suppose choose side. If you deal with those politicians, we know some on the spoil things. If you deal with I B O B, we know some on our want meetings they okay. Then if you know if you feel say maybe you know they need side, now you that they use your head. So my brother, you need to choose side now. You did the side of people where they spoil things. I mean, you wanted the side of people where we want repair. Let be the referendum where would they ask for? Very civil. The way they thought, say, now, now look at election supposed to be forced. Now forced to go do election. The answer now no. Not be forced to do election. Abi? But now we they say we won't boycott. But they say no, 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 IBOB. Why IBOB go boycott? IBOB is not supposed to boycott. It does not favor the Igbo. It does not favor the Awosa. It does not favor the Indiara. It does not favor mad people. If we lay full people. It does not favor man everywhere. Ask them, say, what is the referendum? Is that it's the same thing as an election? Okay, if IBOB they ask for, say, make we do referendum, why would I not say, make this election even be referendum? Did the Bori not say 2019 election will be a referendum? Or did the Bodibo, I respect him. I've worked for him, though he has not, not met me one on one. Then when I was in Nigeria. But did they did not say the interest of the South is, is referendum. Where are they today? Article will be. They're articulating an obituary. Really? Is that the end of it? What, 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 which drink you take or guy when you take talk, say the interest of the South is referendum when you went to Patani? I be the video there for online. Oh. Make with the share the video, make him see him again. More reminder. Hey, Baba. I mean, don't forget. We would ask our, our senior brother the question, oh, we know, we're not the carry last, so we will be Delta. We know where they call Delta, because then they call us Delta. We will we know who will be, will be son of the soil. Before Papa, before he buried the fight for resource control, not being made the Trump for way day. I mean, he won't forget, Baba. Baba won't forget what he's doing because of resource control. He won't forget what he's doing, Alamesia, Alamco. When him and the, the Dixon, of Bayasa State, when then two go talk, say the interest of the South in a referendum. Why are they articulating an obituary to they made they ask that question? We will be. Now, 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 weakness. We, we weakness. They are afraid of the They said they believe that, Abi. They said they believe that. They ask us today. We believe both traditional and political. They ask them when on our stand, we speak when on our talk, say the interest of the South in a referendum. And I don't forget. Now, would they follow now? First, they tell you, say, as soon as they can't hold on, I say we hold on for the South, so say, now referendum or nothing. So, now, 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 wait till they happen, now. When I want to give us out to them, I do want to take give Avengers out. You go red for everybody there, but that's time, I know. See, even the so called, even the some, 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 some so called people from Bayasa, they forget what happened to them in OD. When, 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 uh, Buari, I say Buari, or Basa John, uh, this, uh, this article, they, they, they kill their people, they have not compensated oh. it today. You want to they go vote against our, people, our people know. Our people Shame. know. It is our people don't know, my brother. Our people know. The thing they say, these, these Fulani slaves will be political representatives of Nigeria. Not because they're not they represent us. Now, Nigeria, they represent. They say they, they represent, represent us. The zoo, the zoo. They say that they represent us. Therefore, bring something I mean, they for the, the zoo. It's very, very essential. 
They for open, they for open or receive port. I for fee they fly, I for fee fly from Germany, enter Saba direct because they call us Saba Airport, International Airport. I've been international for mouth. As a airport, na international airport, they call them all. The budget is a billion, billion. Oh. Na international airport for mouth. I know if you fly from Germany, enter, enter as about directly. What did they sub? Not this is make Kaduna Zogo vessel. Now the spirit of Kaduna Zogo, all of us get all of us with that BOP from, from the whole of South. With a vessel. Kaduna Zogo later fuck up, share, but we know, we know the reason all those kind of matter. Blessed memory, now they be because they, those men, their eyes shine. I won't speak pitch, you made them know, say, now we the runner, not be say because of say we they speak English since I be because of say uh, so kind of, we will be say we'll be that de turn not neither they call us Abi. Eh? If we talk now, they go say we not be Biafra. But now we Kaduna Zogo, now we now our brother, now our house, now 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 our Pikino. They are normal people. She be the go talk say, hey, una, una no be Igbo. But if we want to talk about Nigeria matter, they go say that all these data Igbo people. If you want to talk about mm. that state politics self, even for that data state politics, they go say, oh, Kowa, Igbo man, Igbo man, no go rule again. But because I don't forget. Now, all this is now for deceit. All this is now to keep us under the colonial construction called Nigeria, under the concocted republic that has refused to develop our place, that has grossly and most wicked place I have ever seen, the, the most wicked institution I have ever seen. That place is the beginning of the downfall of a black man. And if we don't destroy it, the black man will be, will be, will continue to be in. You know, a lot of people, a lot of, you know, Nigeria is a lot of, is in a very big market. Benjamin Edwards, so, I see you from Ugale. In a very continue. big market, you know? In a very do, big do market. Food, do the food where you are. Yeah. Continue. You understand? A very big market yeah. down Nigeria, you understand? So, you know, a lot of people get interest, you know. Uh, they don't make, uh, they don't calculate how many people there. Um, they don't calculate their head for Naira. So they don't use their head to calculate dollars from Naira, you know. The place, the way they don't concord everybody put together. Everybody call your big like The place call your big like that. People, they bunch children like, like, like pro crush, you know. Everybody just fool, you know. Everybody needs something. If, if you just provide one thing, if I give everybody, you don't get money. You know those kind of thing, those kind of activity now. Now they see they follow yeah. up. Now they see they see they keep everybody like that. But now we go decide. If we want to decide to do like that, eh? You know they see Europe. You know they see. You know they see Europe. Eh? Bruises where did they so where they, where they say nah, if everybody they go they gather they decide every everybody. You, French is for the French. Uh, France is for the Frenchman. Germany is for the German. Spain is for the Spaniards. You don't understand? Yeah. Then I hear for who? Not be so it be. Not be so it be. I for who? For for car who have been a, have been a waiting. Eh? They call your make work on work on stupid place in Nigeria. One person your daily controller. I see Europe be so. You know they say. You know say I see Europe arrange. Everybody arrange now because everybody know everybody they argument inside. They try to make inside better parts of that one. But all of them will go meet for bruises. They go discuss. They go make law. We go make everybody do okay. They will still fall back to their place, go rehearse their things, go do their things. You know that's how they talk so. Of course, I didn't hear you, bro. Eh? I'm the, the, the European Union now, not being the European Union. But you can you say anything about African Union? Africa is African, African, Union, about. It's African Union something. Well, those old I mean, they might not laugh for Europe. They would sleep for their, they sleep for their, they would sleep for 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 assembly, assembly they meetings. Go, they, they go punish people. All those old men. They don't even get political direction. They don't even, they don't even, they don't even, they don't even they execute their own law. Then, then they self where even, where even they signatory to countries where they signatory to the law where they make for inside the AU, so the African Union. So they don't even execute. Country go they fold their hand. They know the country go say they did democracy. They go the key. You keep protesters. EU no go fit talking. Uh, Africa Union no go fit talking anything. If you try for Europe, EU go sanction you. <laughs> EU go. If now Spain start to do the rubbish, EU go sanction Spain. If now France start to do this rubbish, EU go sanction France. So that you go not say their people interest. See people see they, they they look after their people, life and properties. They they paramount first. Their life of everybody, you must respect it. But in Nigeria, now so it be. My brother, if you try and say you carry one, you carry one flag, you shout, say you not go agree, you not go agree, they go bust your head. 
where we say where we say police they never pay on where if you carry a K47 fully loaded double magazine they never even pay on. if in the look I go the vest police you see police for Europe they carry they carry a K47 you know don't be comparing even uh, in Europe with Africa compare uh, 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 the, 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 the Arabs brother, the Arabs compare brother, Arabs look, look I am I am taught to look at to look to look at better things as compare my life with something that is better and tender. I know, and imagine, I know, but if you are comparing, if you are comparing, yeah, but if you are comparing they, Europe they, with they, Africa, it's like, you know, it's like they are trying. Even the Arab community, they are better than the African community. Europe is too high to be compared. It's just like, for example, if you, example, even, if you, if you even look, if you even look, uh, if you even look, the look, you take your eyes off, can't look, go north side. You can even, even see, say, even for the north cells, that they say they behave even more uh, kind of uh, arranging. Radical. Uh, no, you know, say, you know, say, then they self, you get, you get as their, uh, this thing. Excuse me, I get one call. Okay, I will pick the call later. So, you understand what I tell you? Yeah. You know, say, but if you look at the north more in terms of infrastructural development, eh, because then, then they control Nigeria, they channel yeah. the infrastructural development to their side. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. There is a brother here. He's from uh, he's from Kaduna. I spoke with him. I tried to educate him. He's now watching. I wanted to address him. I spoke to him the other time about the need for. He was like prayers, you know. Just a couple of days ago, now the, the, we all see the attack that uh, was in Kaduna, you know. So I know. I, look, that is I think destiny in a job. I mean, in a job, you know, you know. So you know because we need to be collectively. We say no to election. We are not voting. So we, of course, one of the kind of bureaucracy yesterday. You say that even they if that in Yoruba, the Sata Kaduna, there is a need that you will not vote. There will be no election, and you have to pass it to your family. Tell them that you not vote. They will sit at all that day. No, they, there's no printing of hand. So I want you to just throw more light on him that year that now that he is here. Yes, yes, yes. I welcome that our brother, and I want to tell him that, uh, like our leader said on behalf of all indigenous people of Biafra. We are concerned about the things happening in the Middle Belt. We are concerned about the killings. We are concerned about the mindless, mod, the mindless murder of the people because of the Middle the Belt. You know, we are, well, yes, we are, we are, we the Bia France are deeply concerned. We stand shoulder to shoulder with them because we know that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. You know, and so because like what our leader said. We are going to bring down that zoo without shooting a bullet to show them that they are not intelligent, to show them that they don't have what it takes to, 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 to rule a nation, to show them that they don't have those that call themselves the political leaders or the political elites or whatever they call themselves or intellectuals in the zoo called Nigeria and serving the zoo called Nigeria to let them know that they do not have what it takes to represent our people. We are doing this. We are boycotting all boycottables starting with the elections organized by ANEC and starting with every political activities concerning Nigeria, we are going to boycott it. We are going to Thank sit you. in our homes and reject to vote. And when we do so, we have systematically recorded those who are said by way of fraudulent elections of Nigeria that they are representing us. Those people where they lie say that they represent us because say, they stand, we stand for line vote, and our vote no counts. They declare themselves winner. They go Abuja, we they call them back. By sitting down in our house, say we no go vote, we they tell them, say, my brother, no serve again. If not my papa, we they tell them, say, papa, no go serve Nigeria again, come back first. If you, now the effect of our sit at home be that one. So if you, they talk, say, uh, 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 my uncle, if you go there, because he believe in Biafra some more, he go change them, not lie. If he go there, he go, he go take, the, what did they call oath of office to keep the unity of Nigeria and to keep on the way it be? So we now want to make it go. Papa, if you say you won't go represent us, we now they tell you, say, sit down for house first. Make we see what these people won't do. Make we see how they won't react. So sit down for house, sit at home, don't vote, boycott the election, no fight person, just sit down for your house. They ask you, say, guy, why you no one vote? Tell us, say, guy, look up, no light. Look outside. So if I come at Napotopota, I go mad. No road. Tell us, say my Peking uniform. Nami they swam. Nami they do everything. If una know, una know if you do, I'm making no go school with any shirt when he gets. Because even for Kaisokai Developed Nation, they need to get uniform for school. You know? 
I don't know those kind of you go so uniform. You give people, give uh, children say that so so thing be their uniform, and you know if you provide them for them. Picky, uh, mama go go work. You know they no go pay salary, but then go buy uniform for picking. You, you what still won't go vote? Vote for waiting. Tell us sit down first, brother. Now the oil whether we backyard or not, won't go decide for Abuja. Tell the Abuja people, make them come our house, make we decide that. May they carry that thing where they cut construction through way. May they walk out come, make we decide them for our house for our backyard here. Because this thing when I see here, so where they boy so if they pass this pipe, they go out, they go north, they go west. I don't know what it mean. But if they want to talk, they will tell me say uh, constitution says. But if I go north, they're not gonna talk constitution, so they go say Sharia says. I don't know if you understand though. Yeah. You were there for south, so you will be Biafran, where they for south, or even the middle bet. Even the West, the Yoruba people, if they talk too much, they go tell the say constitution says. But if you go to the north, you know go fit talk say constitution says now Sharia says. I don't know if you understand the two different things. You know. Then that constitution where they use the rule me. So I say me you throw in first. You get your own Sharia B. He say yes. I won't get my own constitution for this corner. So I don't know whether you understand though. That of time when you no one go vote, they go come ask you why. So no go vote, me then come ask you why. May you get self-respect. I know some hungry day. Now them put the hunger. So that if them bring corn, if them roast corn come, you go rush, come outside. They go, come corn, corn, go where they do vote. You go rush, go front. They go say, hey, the person will do with the money. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have yeah, a question. Come. Somebody just wrote that. Can you throw some light on some possibility when we buy corn? I think you have said it already, but I don't know if it's not listening. But if you want to still address it, you can still address it anyway. That what? I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing something here very interesting here. Somebody a maker and we am is saying that even the airport in Igwacha just few airlines were allowed to land because those expati, expatriates working in oil companies refused to land in Oduduwa Arewa Awasafulani airports. Uh, so some of the expatriates are now taking direct flights to Port Accord. That's what he's trying to tell us. But I can I can confirm to you today. Totally if you if you are in Europe, if you are in Af Asia, if you are in America, if you are outside the zoo called Nigeria and you want to fly into the zoo and you want to fly into the Afra land, you are going to pay more. You are going to pay like three times of what somebody who is going to stop in Lagos or in Abuja is going to pay. That is the fact. Even if you ask Gogo right now, wherever you are in the world, that you want to fly into any, any airport that is designated as international in Biafra land. And I think this guy is not telling us, we know that they are not taking anybody there. So, but he is bringing in a, a, an information here that they are allowing some flight to land in a Port Harcourt right now because of some expatriates doesn't want to be landing in the Arewa and the Oduduwa nations anymore. They're beginning to know the truth and demand that they take them directly to the field where they are going to work. You understand? And so yeah. they are bringing them through Port Harcourt yeah, you watch her, let me call it you watch her because uh, uh Potaco is, 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 is the secretary to Lord Lugard. Uh, of course. He's, 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 is the white man's <laughs> name. You know, he's the secretary. We, are, we call them by name. When you say white man, you try to generalize it. So we call okay. them by name. He's the secretary to Lord Lugard. And uh, so he's a colonial master. And so we cannot be calling our place the name of a colonial master. We call it the name we know it to be Igwacha Jafra Land. So Igwacha today, uh, they are reporting that Igwacha is, okay, that is a good report. So what is this person asking? That if the elections are boycotted, it will make any fake result of the election illegitimate. Uh -uh. Fake result illegitimate again. You don't say something they fake. You can't say you go make the fake result illegitimate. How? I don't understand this guy. Because if, that is what he wrote here. He said, if the elections are boycotted, it will make any fake result of the election illegitimate. Of course, if they go right, say, if they write fake results and we boycott, they're not going to feel right results when we boycott, at least. I don't know if you understand. When we give them 100% boycott, now those people, when they say they want yes, to Anata, I see you. I see you. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course, we are all fighting for Africa. Africa, that's what we are fighting for. And it yes, must start it, from somewhere. It starts from Biafra. It must start. Biafra has been the pace. You know, when during our Buri, after they went for our Buri, uh, some nations were saying, ah, we don't want a new China in Africa because of uh, the technological 
innovations that uh, Biafrans are growing by day, every day by day. You know, they are producing their own, uh, they call it monster bomb, as at that time, Ubunigwe. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the Western world, the Western bloc then was calling it a monster bomb, uh, the monster bomb. Today, America, uh, there was a time Donald Trump tweeted that they have, they have uh, the mother of all bombs. You know, I just laughed and said Biafrans then had monster bomb, monster. You know what? When, when they say something is a monster, <laughs> how did they call it? Of big way. There was a name they call it. You know, you know, you know. Of big way. And, and you know, and you know, and you know, the Russian president uh, uh, Putin. These are two men I respect so much. He said that the Russians have the father of all bombs. When when Trump said the Americans have the mother of all bombs. What I just reflected on was that then the Soviet Union was saying, Bia France had a monster, a bomb that is a monster. And so, uh, so Biafra still, still maintain their innovations till today. And that is why Radio Biafra can never be brought down by man -made, any, any man-made uh, institution or person. So, I, want so you, like, I, want you, I want you to enlighten on uh, people who are watching from, uh, people who are from Edo Kingdom, the Bini, uh, the Asian city, who, who, don't, who don't know even where they belong. They don't even know if they are Biafra or they are Dutuwa or they are even beneath kingdom, or they are in the zoo, or in the Arewa. You know, the need for the need to boycott this election, to, to, to you know, trigger the change that we want after the election. Uh, because there's a the reason why we are boycotting the election. If you don't know, you have to the go Nduka back man, and start it all over. Man, we can't do everything the Indukwaman is a neighbor to the beneath, to the beneath kingdom. Indukwaman is a free man that lives just uh, in the boundaries. Yeah. Ogbonigwe, Ogbonigwe. Correct. Augustine... Onisike. Yes. Ndokwaman is a Biafran that has boundary with that great kingdom, the Bini kingdom. And so as an Ndokwaman, I think I, I have, I can advise my neighbors, the Bini people. As an Ndokwaman. Of course they are our neighbors. We even know they cannot say it. That is what they are. Anything, anything, anything more than that is a joke. <laughs> Anybody that say that uh, Anyoma belongs to Bini or that Isoko people are related to uh, Bini, you can say related because of marriage or interrelations or all these kind of things. But say Bini person, na Bini, Bini person, na Urubu person, be Bini person before. I be na Bini migrate with their those like, kind of people. No one is such person, but uh, that is it's, it's not done anywhere. Urubu is Urubu. Joy is Joy. Shakiri is Shakiri. Exactly, brother. brother. Everybody in this life. Migration forms part of everybody's every nation or every migration forms part of it. Migration is part of every community that has been made in this world. Everywhere. So migration for part of it. So anybody that is trying My to My king, say, can you still hang around? Uh yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really wanted to bring much people today, but I don't know. My king he will say that uh, brother, he has to tell the world. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know how that is really I don't know. But today I'm, like uh, I was really angry with the system, so I did not even plan off, you know, you know. So okay, yes, I, I know. Will soon, I will soon drop so that you bring some other people. Okay, of course, continue. Okay, so so what I'm what I'm saying is this: you see, I am I am I will be I'm in a position. I think I'm in the best position to advise some of our Bini brothers, our friends, and neighbors. You know that. You know, they are our brothers because they are Africans, because they are neighbors, you know, because we believe in the uh, live and let's live. You know, so we Omar, are living as well. One, one minute, one minute, brother. Omar, and ye, Omar. If you, if you have not been following IPOB family, if you don't know what we stand for and the reason why we want to boycott election, no problem. I'm not going to explain it, but the Yorobas, the Yorobas, they know how they, they connive with the house and vote in Bwari. You can put down voting out. Continue, Let me brother. respond to any any Oma before I leave. Any Oma, any Oma. You know some of these names too. You know some of these persons. Most of them. They. Where are you from, any Oma? I want you to comment it, where you are from before I respond to I you. In fact, I don't think it's even necessary know that, to even know. You know from. that. You know that Buari Buari Media House. People have smartphones. Yeah, in Buari Media smart. House. Most of them are bearing. Uh, most of them are using these alike names on media. Of course, I know. To, I know. Uh, to ask obvious obviously funny and stupid questions you know just to derail the movement we know some um, of those people so, no, 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 so don't sometimes, mind sometimes we don't want to use because of them we don't want to use because of them to neglect some legitimate questions from our brothers too so that's why i'm okay. asking in your ma or whatever in your ma in your ma i think if i want if i pronounce because i'm i can pronounce such a name in your ma. Uh -huh. you said that brothers 
What do Biafra benefit when they are not involved in the electoral process? Or do you think that the APC that is in power now will continue the process of ruling is a question. But this question that is asking, I don't know, is is very, I don't know what we are doing is, is we have been singing it and singing it. You know, that is why I say some of these people are Buhari Media House, they're from the work. So tell us where you come from so that we can respond to you. We yeah, respond from to Abia, Abia, you should know what we are doing, brother. Yes, you I should want know. to respond to that question. Abia, 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 you man, should know. Tell us where you come from. Brother, from Abia, 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 you should know. When you don't have like what have you gained since you have been voting? Let's be sorry, let's be saying, ourselves. Okay, okay, in your man. Poverty, in your man. I'm no sorry school, no roads, so. no hospitals, no roads, no electricity. Killings, nobody is talking. Even the traditional rulers, all yeah. the religious ruler, all and the political leader, all nobody is speaking for us. They are all balkans because they are not speaking. If you don't speak for the people, I don't regard you. <laughs> I don't regard you. I'm just in my mind. I don't regard you. Let me let me uh, in your man. Uh, okay, I'm sorry if you think if you think so, but you said you are from Abia, Umwaya, Uhuru. Okay, your question is that uh, uh, what would Biafra benefit when we involve when we don't involve or when we are not involved in the electoral process? I will tell you. If we boycott, they will give us a referendum, and then Biafra will come. Simple. It's as simple as that. So, you, because you're asking what will we benefit, we are telling you that if we don't vote, they will give us a referendum. If they talk to Oman Vishu Kuka, if they include all ESF that we think we have, we have not even benefit anything from it. I'm sorry. Not in, your mind, in case you don't know, it's a cause, it's a bond, it's tying out to this caliphate. Now, yeah, that we say we have all year, which all year you get. Can you assess it? Are you in control of this all year? Why are you poor? Your children are prostitutes every year. They are, they are criminals. And you, you are saying you have all year. You are, you are rich at home. You can't even ask. How is domini is dominating you? And you can't say anything. And people are saying they have a point. They have a solution. At least they have a strategy. You are trying to, you know, Don't you know, me, uh, bring me, problems. Me, and so what me, are your me, own me, platform? Me, you Maybe we will follow you. But I'm coming for you. Uh -huh. So my brother, let me, I'm responding to Enyoma. I'm sorry yeah. if you think we are arrogant the way we respond uh, because he said, brother, you are arrogant. I'm from... I, I saw it. I saw it. Why would I be arrogant? Because I asked him, because I be asked weak, him like, to tell him where he's, where he's from. I can't be weak <laughs> minded like all we these are, yeah, we, are, we are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. IBOB. And, uh, you know, we, we have been... We have been... We have been receiving name calling. They have been calling us a lot of names. So calling us arrogant is not anything. If being arrogant will make a black man wake up, then I will become arrogant for a black man to wake up. Of course. Of course. So, my brother, I think I have told you in your ma that, look, if we boycott the political system, it means we are fed up with the political system. It means it is a reflection, a physical reflection of our, of, of our uh, should I say, disaffection for the system, in case you don't know. If you don't know, like when I'm going to talk, when it comes to speaking English, I we went to school with no book. We are not miscreant like Nigerian media will want people to think. We know what we are doing. We are called by Chuko Kabema, by God, for this movement. So when people tell us that we are arrogant, I get happy because it pains them to know that people it's are intelligent. Better. It pains arrogant. them to know that people know people. what they are doing. It pains them to know that people are aware that our people are waking up. You know what? It's better to be arrogant than to be a yeah. babu and a they monkey. Do you know why? You know, they cannot say that. When, when they begin to say something. Is, is that Africans are babus so, and so monkeys? Because when you look they, at the mirror... Wait, 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 first, wait, first. Between yeah. Nandekano and the Nigerian government, who is arrogant? Who is arrogant? Nandekano, Nandekano has not shot a gun, but more than 3,000 or 5,000 of his members, has, of his followers, has been killed by the Nigerian government. And Nandekano is arrogant, and his followers are arrogant. Nandekano is not arrogant. This Nandekano is arrogant. He has not shot a gunshot. He has not killed anybody. He only speaks with a microphone, talking to his people, holding rallies, and... You, they went to kill him, and the, the Minister of Interior said, we went for him, but we did not see him. The defense, chief of defense said they, they pursued Amore into his house, and, they, and they, he exploded, and they, uh, whatever things. A man that is peaceful, that is in his house, you went to pursue, you pursue explosives into his house. Are you OK? Who is arrogant? Emmanuel, uh, are you still there? Signify, please. Uwankwo. Continue, brother. 
So, so we uh Simeon, we are doing the we are doing my don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> we are doing we the are, job. We are doing we are, we, are, we are doing this we are fighting this battle not because of our lives, because we know that Luke they they have done their worst to us. We are only fighting for our born children to have a place they can call their own. Of course, of course. We are fighting of for course. the next generation of Africa. To be strong, before they will turn we are everybody that the next generation of Africa will not invade you. Europe through the sea. We are fighting that the next generation of Africa will not pass through the desert. We are fighting that Africa will be for Africans, just like the Europe is for Europeans, just like America, just like Trump for is the America. for America great, just like Israel and Jerusalem is for the Israelites. Well said. That is what we are doing. We are not here to kill anybody. We have not killed anybody. Our hands are very clean. Our hearts are clean. That is why Nandekanu say we are whiter than white and whiter than snow because we have nothing. We have no cockroach in our cupboard. We say it the way it is. So that those who are doing the wrong thing, we know they are doing the wrong thing. So those who are, who are led astray, we know they have been led astray and find the right path. That's why we are doing this. We are not doing this because uh, we, we find it uh, as a recreative business. Freedom fighting is not a recreative business. It's not a career. They don't know even. They don't even. We have a goal, and our that, 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 goal and desire, right? our objective is to restore the sovereignty of the nation called Biafra, so that every nationality in Biafra will be free to express themselves as who they are. So that as an Endokwa man, I will be known as an Endokwa man from Biafra land. Of course. Not so not somebody from Niger Delta or South South or that not not or yeah, South East and and all the stores. Uwankwa, <laughs> Iman Uwankwa, are you still there? If you are still there, I'm just I just want to get your notification. If you are there, just uh, say hi. I beg. May you bring in somebody. Uh, sometimes I get emotional and I get I, I even try to, to do, even before I started. I tried to. I was so emotional. I was so angry with with, with, with the kind of. Uh, I feel like you know, I feel like uh, standing before Jubre and telling Jubre go back to Sudan. Sudan. Okay, okay, bro. Okay, Manu, I'm bringing you right now. So. Uh, Thank you, brother, for coming. Let me bring him on and to just add you. some Thank view. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Uh, welcome, brother. Highly welcome. Always welcome. And Emmanuel, I think you are not even there. Trying to bring you in. I hope you are there. Okay, yes. I'm bringing, I'm bringing Emmanuel in. Um, Emmanuel. Yep. Here we go. Um, okay. Here we are. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Hello. brother. How how are you, Biafra? How are you, Well, um, I thank you for bringing me in. Um, thank you. I thank you for everything that you are doing for Biafra. Well, thank you, brother. Welcome. I want to say for um, in your uh, the little question that I want to ask in your ma, in your ma for for good uh, fifty eight years. You vote in Nigerian politics. Uh, what is your gain since 58 years? Have you seen any change in Biafra land? Did you look at the load, all the load in Biafra land, how it, look, how it looked? For 58 years, they keep on promising you the Vanija Bridge. Have you seen any in Yoma? For 58 years, you have international seaport in uh, Calabar, in uh, Uguacha, everywhere in Biafra land. Have you asked yourself a reason why they don't, they don't want to open those seaports? Have you asked yourself a reason why they, want, they don't want to open uh, uh, Port Harcourt? Uh, uh, we are a uh, uh, plane with from take off from Europe, land in Port Harcourt or land in uh, Calabar or land in Enugu. Have you asked yourself 58 years in your mind? I'm asking you the same people that uh, Nigerian call the terrorists, IBOB, the same people that you say.
to come and vote for Nigeria. Are you listening well? You are able man and they cannot listen. And your mom asking you so many questions. The ones that you vote, have you gained anyone, anything from there? That is what I'm asking in your mom. They will not answer. People, dead brains, they don't have anything to offer, but they will always come and against people who have ideas. To because offer. when you, when I, I, um, um, I don't know how I feel when uh, some people who call the Biafran people, Igbo people especially, uh, asking you why you cannot vote, why if you don't vote, don't you, don't you know that uh, they will bring somebody else? But the question that you have to ask yourself, the ones that you vote, what happened? This is a question that you have to ask yourself. Have you seen what happened in Yoruba land? In Osun state. state and other place. If what, happened come... to, what, what, what happened to this guy, um, uh, Abode? What happened to uh, Fayoshi? So people come out and they vote who they want to vote. And the, the, the terrorists say those people know they cannot vote for these people. They have to bring the people they want to put there. So have you asked yourself those questions? Have any vote favor you? This, this is a question that we we'll ask you, Enyoma. If we can answer all these questions, then... Enyoma is should... fake, oh. It's fake. You understand me? Enyoma is fake. You have to answer all these questions. Look at what is happening in, 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 in Imo State. Today, we just have 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 destroyed everything that you must state have, and yet you are still talking about come and vote, come and vote, vote for who? Believe me, any of you have to listen like a human being. You are you are a woman, and you. A have babu, to... that, one of the said is a Africa. Look at yourself at the mirror. You will see a babu. Do you know why? Because you fail to reason like a human being. You first or is it like one? Hey, Babu. Sure. Hey, Babu. When he's Africa, he's, he's him excluded. No. But until you, 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 you begin to think like one, you want, you will continue to be a Babu. Until I then. Feel, I feel so ashamed when an Igbo man asking questions why you cannot vote. I wonder. You, you ask, you have to ask your question. Those votes that you vote for a long time ago, what have been your since they your, were born? Your, since they were born. What has been your born. game? I'm sure game? that I'm sure that this Enyoma is not in Nigeria. I'm sure. You don't you understand me? And you are still talking about why we shouldn't evil vote. People every, evil people everywhere. Why we shouldn't vote? You should ask yourself these questions. Yes, you, you are voting. You are voting you, for fifty-five. You are waiting for 55, 50, 58 years. No road is good in Biafran land. Everywhere is so dirty. People are dying from hunger. People, you know, are, people are so ashamed. And when we say that we cannot vote, you are asking us questions. Why? Now we are immigrants all over the whole world because of bad government. Immigrants. The same IBOB. Nigerian, Nigerian people, uh, even Igbo, 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 Igbo governors, uh, they connive together and say we are terrorists. The same terrorists that you want to come and vote. Are you normal? This is question. Which it's generation? That's what I describe people who refuse to think with their brain. Which generation? Question. Weak yeah, people, if, weak, uh, weak, weak links. Any your mom, if you are, and continue. Any your mom, if you are there and you are, you are hearing me and you cannot answer me this question, then I will know that you don't think normal. You understand me? That's why in now the council says, why you are a human being is ability to reason. You have to reason like a human being because you have brain inside you. 
you have to reason. You reason like a babu. You understand me? You don't have to reason upside down. You have to reason normal. Their brains, eyes, eyes, you know? brain, brain block. That is question. We say somebody. I was woman. I was speaking to somebody the other day. You know, I think last year. No, just the other day. I was speaking to him the, the needs that we need to take action, bring ourselves together to take our destiny into our hands. He was like, I'm too young for this. This guy is also a very young guy, yo. But all he does in Europe is go around, you know, get free money. He don't want to even learn language. He don't want to do nothing. Chase women around. He doesn't even have him to write home about. At the end of the day, if people like him are occupying this country, and then the country economy will fall because he's acting like one, and he ran from Nigeria, and he don't want to even try to have it. He don't want to even contribute for the better man. Even where he's staying, he don't want to contribute into the economy. These are people that are occupying that place. People who don't even think. Baboos. Sorry, brother. I can just continue. That is that is that is problem. That is problem with the human being. That is problem with Africans because Africa meant to reason like a human being, but you see Africa, they cannot reason like a human being. That's why they are president using them as animals and they, they are falling inside and dumping them. You understand me? Because they have every year. Why? Whatever they bring for them, they take it like that. A look at a man who called a Burali who have died for long. And then they have to block debris from another another place to of give course. you people. And you people accept that. Now he's terrorizing you people with herdsmen. And I'm sure that any woman know about all those herdsmen that are terrorizing people. Have you ever come to ask question why the terrorists, herdsmen, are terrorizing people, killing people? And they cannot talk. But now you can have a right to come and ask people of IBOB why they cannot vote, as if the vote is so important to vote. Mm, vote. Vote is achievement. Voting is an achievement for those people. Voting is their achievement in their life. A human being has to listen. You have to listen. That's why in the different places that we are, we are in Europe, that's why sometimes when I, feel, I see white man do uh, lessons for us, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I don't feel, I feel happy with it because this is not my land. You understand me? What if, even my land, the people are there, are the worst people that do this to themselves? Then you begin to ask yourself a question. Okay. So, Enyoma, please, I want to send this message to you. And to you everybody are, in particular. And everybody, everybody here who asking this question to why IBOB cannot vote, I want to put this question to you straight. Please, is there a crime that 58 years we are voting for the same people, our Safrani, they will come down to the African land, we vote for them, now they will become a president. They, when they become a president, they begin to mature us bad killing our people, destroying us. After four, four years, they will come down again to we to vote for them. When we vote for them, the same thing continue. Now we say no, we cannot vote again. Now, they have to vote for us because we are human beings also. They have to vote for us, okay? We have to choose where we want to belong to, whether we want to belong to Nigeria or we want to belong to Biafra. That is our choice. That is, we have to decide by ourselves. We have the same equal right as two. They have equal right to to we to vote for them to become you a president. Charlie, are you there? You too, Charlie. We educate have, yourself. Also, so my brother, I thank you yeah. very much. And I uh, say, keep up, okay. You too, Charlie. Say hi. Let me know if you are there. Little Charlie. Uh, oh hey, Biafra. Oh hey, Biafra. If Little Charlie is not there, uh, that means uh, we're going to call it a day. Uh, we have broadcast for long. Uh, but little Charlie, are you there to say hi? Uh, it's not there, so to that effect, uh, we will say, uh, I'm there. uh, so uh, all here, Biafra, we should tell one to tell another that we, should, we are not voting and we know the reason why, so that we expect the greater result for our children. So, 
and our children's children, our future generation, because we are tired. We are tired yeah. of being a laughing stock in the world because we have that, bad government. We should that, start thinking like human beings and stop thinking like baboos and monkeys. That is Thank what you. I'm saying. So I'm, I thank you and I say, keep it up, okay? All help you after. My name is Lee. Okay, Little Charlie is here. All right. Thank you, brother. All Let me just bring you in. Up. Yeah. Take Little Charlie, I'm bringing you in. Let me just see if I can. Okay. Little Charlie, Little Charlie, yeah. I'm approving you. Little Charlie, I hope you are there. You have to just make it a kind of wrap in a quick one. Uh, okay. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, what's up? I did. I thank you guys uh, for what you guys are doing. Yeah. You know, sometimes... um. You know what? What our leader used to do, I call it um, school of thought. Like we okay. go there to learn. I will go there. It's our own. It's our own uh, university. But some people doesn't know. But very soon, I pray that they will understand. Do you understand? Of course. Yeah. There's something he said. There was something he said last time. He said, um, "What makes you a human is your ability to reason." Of course. Yeah. So. Some people are still in the dark, and we don't have to blame them for that because there was a time we were like them, you know? Of course, even me too. Until, yeah, until at a point, like some certain stage, and then we now found out the truth and joined the struggle. So we just have to pray for them that them too, they will find a way to, you know, cue in. Yeah. Because what we're talking about here is we're not just talking about ourselves. We're talking about our future generation, our unborn children. Yeah. Now, I'm not in Nigeria. I'm in Bangkok, and I've been here for many years, right? So you cannot tell me that I'll be busy making children. I was breaking transmission by him. You, un you understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. So since I don't have a place in Nigeria, that was why I ran away to uh, Bangkok to find a living. I don't pray for my own child to also run away from Nigeria, from Biafra land, to another country, to go and hustle, to go and do all manner of just to just to earn a living. It's not done anywhere. You understand? So some people they might be comfortable now in their own house, thinking that they are getting one or two things. Yeah, for little money, I mean Euro. Yeah, yeah, they, are okay. they, are, they are okay. I let let they let the zoo continue the way it is, yeah. which is nonsense. I That's have a little, thinking. I have a little thing to tell them, so that each time they wake up, they will think over it, and they will give themselves the answer. You see, we have bad roads everywhere in Biafra land. You understand? So each and every one of us, one way or the other, have lost lost one of our own in accident. That was not supposed to be. The accident was not meant to be uh, uh, to happen, but because of bad road, it happened. So, who killed your brother? Are they not the ones that 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 uh, loot the money that was meant to build a very good road? Which, had it been that we have that good road, your brother wouldn't have died. Of course, your mom wouldn't have sense. died. Your, sense, daddy, your daddy wouldn't have died, but they died because of bad road. Because the government they failed, the zoo government they failed to yes. put everything intact. Yes, these are the same people you want to go and vote for. One way or the other, you are the getting the share. You, you are you only waiting. You are waiting for you to die first before you know that what they are doing is getting to you. But you are losting your family members in bad road accident caused by uh, an accident caused by bad road. So one way or the other, everyone is partaking on that evil that they are committing in our land. Even when they are still saying one Nigeria. You understand? The reason they are saying one Nigeria is because they, they are comfortable the way they are. They want to continue looting. They don't want to stop. So to them, one Nigeria means uh, everything to them. You understand? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, you have no, no, I was, I was, yeah, I was having a call, but, but it's okay. I just cut it. So... 
what, what am I trying to say here? Um, there was a question I asked one of my friends some day, some days back. I asked him, I said, how old is Nigeria? He told me uh, 104 years. Nigeria was created 1914, right? I said, had it been your granddaddy or your great grandfather were to be alive today, how old do you think he would be? He said about 120, 130, 200, or 150, 150 years old. I said then, before Lord Lugar created Nigeria, who are they? Where are they from? That means if they were to be alive today, they would have been older than Nigeria. Of course. That is how you find out who you are first, before this stupid uh, Lolugar came to force us together. There was a question that uh, um, uh, uh, Radio Biafra asked last time. No one answered that question. He said, who signed the amalgamation paper that they used to put us together? Who and who agreed that we are going to be together? If you want to get married to any woman now, you and her have to agree first. Is it not true that you, are guy, you guys are going to live together? You will agree. She will agree. Then both of you will stay together. So who be, before that time, Nandaziki, I think, was about eight years old. Awolo was four years old. All those fathers, they, they said they are fathers of Nigeria. All those men that they called fathers of Nigeria, they were very little during that night. They have not even born some, some of them. So who signed the amalgamation paper? No one has answered that question to today. So you force all of us to live to who you know I've learned, I've, I've learned a lot from our leader like he, he said what what defines who share a country with you, your countrymen is value system value system so that value system you have to be sharing like same religion is same kind of food dress is same kind of uh, dressing code like, like a kind of a, a commodity, you know, have a common things, have do things in common, you know. Yes, you have yeah. many things in common. So just look at you and I now. See the way you dress. See the way I dressed, right? You see the way we reason. If I speak my Igbo now, you understand? Yeah. If I speak my Igbo, you will understand me. If you speak, I will understand. But if and I was someone speak, I was an I don't. I will not even know what he's what he what he will be talking about. The way he dresses is not the way I dress. We don't believe in the same religion. We don't eat the same kind of food. If I come to your house now, you offer me food, I go eat. If of you course, come to my own, I offer you. Same thing. Same thing. You understand? So countries evolve. It, 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 countries are not being create, created by any human being. I've been in so many countries around this world. I've not seen anybody. They always they will pray. Let us pray for Nigeria, for God to bless Nigeria. Evil, God evil, can never evil religious leaders. God, God can never bless what He has not made. Of Nigeria course. is not Nigeria is man-made, and the, the church, the church goers also, the, the pastors, they will tell you that church it's only God. what God made. Uh, it's only what God made that is perfect. So God did not create Nigeria. God did not make Nigeria. So it can never be perfect. You understand? They said that everything that man made will always fall as someday, right? It, will, it, it, it cannot stand forever because it was not ordained by God. It was, was man-made. So Nigeria is a man-made country. So, so for those that are praying to save the sinking ship, let them keep on the ship have praying. The have sunk already. You the understand? Uh, let them keep on praying. But all we know is that That's why Randall, what brother. we need yeah. yeah, all we know is that what I will tell you a story now for you to know that them too, they know what they are doing. It's all about divide and rule tactics. You understand? There was a time before I joined this struggle. What let me tell you now, what made me to join this struggle? There was a time that was uh, two years ago when I was coming back from Lagos. You understand? At uh, Abo, Abo, yes, I met a roadblock checkpoint. They cleared me, and then I just after maybe um, let's say uh, about uh, uh, 200 meters, I just cleared my car to urinate just by the side of the road. The 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 Mopo guy just walked straight up to me and asked me, "What am I doing here?" I said, "I'm urinating." Say for what? I said, "Ah, it's a 
uh, this in now is um, Federal Road. And I saw you guys here. I believe that I'm safe here. I can urinate. You know what this guy told me? He just look at me from here to toe. He told me that if if it were to be in the north, he would have killed me. But I should just shoot me. And nobody will know my destination. And I was a man. So the, he even know that our land is not our land. That is to show that they know what they are doing. He knows that I'm in a safe zone. I'm in my place now. And I'm from Igbo. So he now said, if it were to be in the north, he would have killed me. For not doing Are you hearing one Nigeria people? Are you hearing one Nigeria people? People who are saying one Nigeria, are you listening? So when I just left, I met another police checkpoint. I asked them, do you know those ones up there? They said, no. Oh, what happened? I, I narrate my story to the, to the police officer. He just, he did like this. He said, sorry. Don't, don't mind him. He shouldn't have said all that. You did nothing wrong. Just go. I said, okay, thank you, sir. No problem. I, I drove out. And then I started asking myself question. Is this what Nam Dekano had been talking about? So we were not even really welcome here. So if it were to be in the north, this man would have killed me. That was when I now queued in the struggle. You understand? Let me tell you the one that will break your heart now. Okay. Most of our guys are abroad. We are in Lagos. We are in, we are in Kaduna. We are everywhere, all, out, all, all over the world. We are just, we just scattered. They just scattered also with their policy huh? to, to hold us, to cage us down so that we will be struggling to survive. We will now be running health and scatter. We will be running everywhere in the world to find a survivor. Why they will come silently to occupy our land. Let me tell you this now so that you will know I know what I'm talking. I'm a farmer. Okay. I'm a farmer. Okay. The Fulani people, they went to my farm to destroy my crops. My brothers went to where they are camping and warned them not to do that again. They said, okay, they will not do it again. Then they did it second time. And I asked my brothers to go to the police station and report that matter. First, they reported to Ami because my neighbor, one woman that is also doing fab uh, with me, she knows Ami people. She called the Ami general. The general said, oh, he knows the owner of the cow around that area, that he will call the man. After he told us that he called the man, the man, the, 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 the man's dad dies, that the man is not around. Uh, when the man comes back, uh, he will come and let us uh, settle with him. Fine and good. When they did this second time, we now went to police station. The police people started, the, all the police station around our place, so they know who owns any cow, around where. They bring out their phone number, started calling them. Then they said, they later told us that the man, the one that has the cow around our own area, that the man doesn't want to come and listen to our complaint. He doesn't want to talk to us. You understand? Then the other one that came said that he's not the one that owns the cow that, that is uh, 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 patrolling around our own area. Now, what does that tell you? These guys, they have shared our land secretly, railing cow all over our, our, our land. And we're still believing that, that those lands belong to us. But they have shared it all among themselves. Of course, when somebody bursts into your property and you cannot do anything about it, he or she destroy your crop and you cannot do anything about it. Of course, he owns the land. Of course. You understand? One Nigeria so people are using one Nigeria. This is what one our guys does not know. You will be abroad thinking that you are from this, you are from that. You are from Imo State, you are from Enugu, you are from Abo. You, from, you don't even know that the Fulani people have shared your father land among themselves. And the police is aware of, the, of that. Bro, bro, I mean, it's aware bro. of it. Bro, bro, just try random. Just try random. So, so our people need to need to wake up anyway. You understand? I still pity those course. that are of course. those that are not uh, not prepared yet. Let us. I don't want you to go into into crisis, but believe me, I, I've made that decision long ago. If, if it happened today again, yeah. if it happened today again, that they want to go the other way, they don't want to go the way we are asking them now to do it in peace. Believe me. If it happened today, you go see me for Niger tomorrow. 
I will tell you. That all is the blood. Us, all See, of us them. The spirit of cowardice needs to be taken away. Even when you are cowardice, they will still come and take your land by force, and they will kill you or press your children. Even if you are not, when you are gone, maybe when you are gone. So the time is none. If you are saying one Nigeria, is it that you are a fool, or you are unaware, or you don't read your books, or you do, you are not, you are not go, uh, following up what is happening in the zoo, or maybe you are one of the Fulani caliphate. That's all I have to say. And then one Nigeria people and think then, twice and use your brain. Stop and, thinking like donkeys and cows. And then, and then when when the election come around the corner, their reverend fathers, their pastors will be telling them to go and vote. Right? When they kill Christians, they are Christians. how many how many reverend father have said anything about it? I've how many seen, reverend pastors? Wait a minute, All wait those a big minute. Touches. I've said this thing from the beginning when I started. The reverend father who the reverend father as the uh, traditional no the religious rulers, the traditional rulers, and even the political leaders, they are the same. They are none have spoken, none have spoken till now. No. They just share money among themselves and they are happy, comfortable the way Nobody they are. Nobody has spoken. You, the poor the masses, yeah, they, they are don't not care about rulers. They are not much of you rulers. They, they, want you to, they only want you to go and vote so that the money that, they, that is coming into their pocket will keep on flowing into their pocket. Then their, their, their pastors will tell them that their, their reward is in heaven. All your pastor is right. Evil, 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 evil men of devil, they say they are men of God. Listen up. Listen, you know, why their their pastors have pri private jets? Oh, they have private jets. They are they are they are reaping their own their own uh, uh, reward on this earth that we are. Yeah. And your own is waiting for you in heaven. They live in a good house. They they are enjoying good life. Everything their families is and abroad, enjoying going to good schools. Even the school they build with the money you contribute in their church. You, your two you children cannot attend it because of because of how much you are supposed to pay. You cannot afford it. Just run And every Sunday, every Sunday you go there and clap hand. Clap into your foolishness. And when they kill you, they will not talk. They will shut up because clap they don't want government to come after them. <laughs> you see, so let people, let those that are that want to be coward continue to be coward. For as yes. of uh, because uh, as for as for as for us, as for we us, are already awoken. We are soldiers. And we are not going to be cowed. Mm -hmm. So anyhow they want it Thank now, you any way they want to, any way they want it to be, we are ready for them. We are if ready it for them. Today, we'll go see me. We'll go see me tomorrow for Niger. All of us go fight that battle. You say no shaking. You Just say, keep oh, it up. You understand, people? Yeah. All right. Everybody, All right. Cool. you've heard it. One Nigeria people who are saying one Nigeria, you see that the reasons why one Nigeria can't work, they don't like us. Full and they don't want us. So why are we saying one Nigeria? You know, they should go their way while we go our way. Marriage Don't is not by force now. Uh, try to, you know, go into detail and know the reason why we will boycott election and know the reason why we are Biafran, know the reason why we need to go. Simple the, as ABC. You know, you know the last thing, you know, you, know the, you, know the la you know the last, you know the last funny thing, the last funny thing here, I will say it before I go. The last funny thing is, uh, once our leader just came out and started mentioning Biafra, the first thing Britain did was to come to, to North to Sudan of Sokoto, we are supporting one Nigeria. Why wouldn't they support one Nigeria? Do you think that one Nigeria was in your own interest? Is to the interest of Britain. When we are when we are busy tearing ourselves apart, our Saibo Yoruba, Britain will be there under taking the whole resources to their land. And the little money they agreed to pay to those that say that they are Nigerians, the same leaders will share the money among themselves, still send the money back to Britain to bank it there. That is recycling so what it of foolishness. That, what it recycling means that foolishness. Every, money, every money that is coming out of that land, that Biafra land, eventually all the money is going back to Britain. They well, are using it to you. build London. Thank you for when having you. There, I, did, I, I, I was in Italy. Listen to me. I was, in, I was in Milan last year. I went there for holidays. When my brother, when I got there, that was my first time to go to to go to uh, Europe. When I went there, it was like a heaven, like heaven on earth, paradise. I'm telling you, but our people still contribute their ends meal, like every Sunday in the Roman Catholic Church. They will still take some sent to Rome to Pope. What has Pope said since they have been killing Christians in Nigeria? Nothing. Nothing. 
And okay. our people who go to farm, work hard, they make little money. They still contribute to the church. The church will I still take some money to go. Rome. Stupidity eh? of like yeah, recycling of stupidity, like foolishness. That place is like heaven. They are supposed to. Okay, how many projects? Do there was a time Vatican, Vatican was rated the the, the most richest organization in the world. Do you think that if they want to do good for us, they cannot? How, how many hospitals did you see in Igbo land or anywhere in Biafra land that was built by Roman Catholic, like hospital, because we are Catholics or because we are we are Christians? How many, how many did how, how many did the England that brought England England people that brought uh, what do you call it uh, this church uh, Anglican church Archbishop of Canterbury was bit, was bit busy visiting uh, uh, of, uh, of Fulani people visiting uh, uh, Muslim people has he ever touched leg in Biafra land where he has Christians and we are busy contributing money sending to them our people are very foolish. Very foolish. I'm telling you the truth. Very foolish. Very foolish. At the wake of your foolish, you are still foolish. When, when, you talk, when you talk about now they cannot be in Israel, they will say, hey, you want to bring Judaism to us. But the Christianity you are about to, you are, you are ready to. They always for. say that they are, they are Israelite. Christianity always say they are Israelites. And now they are afraid of Judaism. They, they and forgot, you say they are they Israelites. That, and who are the Israelites? They, 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 forgot, they forgot that the meaning of Judaism is a way of life. It's not even a religion. And you are Brother, born a Jewish. Brother Randolph. You understand? So don't worry. It's a, it's a thought for another day. Let uh, continue. All right. But I have many things to say. I will I will be following you up. You we, understand? We, we broke out for long. We broke out for long. Yeah. We really broke no out for problem. long. No problem. Take care. Thanks everyone for coming right. in. Uh, uh, I, we, this is the last guy we, we have for now. I'm um, so sorry. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thanks for staying around. Uh, do the info. Tell one to tell one not to vote. We are boycotting election. And that is our stand. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One love. Uh, if I offend anyone, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you.